Hey y'all, say hey as you're jumping on. Um, exciting news. Also, as soon as I'm going live with y'all, um, let me move this because I can't see comments because they're in my way a little bit. Uh, Cindy is activating the website. So now the Dixie Darlings transfers are live on the website for anybody that does not, was not on the waiting list. So if you are not on the waiting list for the Dixie Darlings transfers, then it is should be live now. So I was just gonna pull it up. These transfers were kinda in my way here. Uh, so, and say hey, y'all are jumping on if you don't mind. I can see who's here, but I got transfers and foils to work on tonight. And I was just gonna pull it up and make sure that the website was back open for y'all. She was gonna try to do it at the same time. And I'm sorry, y'all, that you can hear my dog over here rolling her ball around like I didn't give her enough food. Uh, yes, so the website is back open. So, uh, no problem, Julie. Go do what you gotta do, girlfriend. I didn't expect you to be here tonight. I was just gonna come and hang out for a little while. I've got some stuff I can work on. And so, um... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna work and go from there. So, uh, it'll be fine. I can probably, I'll try to watch and pay attention <laughs> if I need to mute somebody at the same time. So, uh, well, thank you, Christina. I appreciate it. Uh, it's again, like if you hear me talk about it on Facebook, I did not do anything to it today. I got up this morning and I was like raring to go. So, you are driving back to New York. It's Steph. Oh, hey, Steph. Hey, Steph, and send me a message, because we were asking about a cup. So, just, like, shoot me a message, and we'll, you know, like, you would ask me about one specific, and there might be a second one of those, so, if you're interested. So, hey, Magnolia Sugar Boutique, and one and only designs, what are y'all doing tonight? Okay, so, it just went live on the website, y'all, the Dixie Darlings transfers. So, everybody that was on the waiting list, if you've already purchased yours, if you've not, and you weren't on the waiting list, it is open now, and I just went and checked on the website just to make sure. So... A light family. Hey, hey, April. Um, okay, so if y'all have not, I guess, I don't know, y'all probably have all seen these. But if you haven't, speak now and I'll show them to y'all. But I do have some to work on. So, I had a little list last night. And Angel that's in the group had claimed this cup that I had done. And she wanted some of the red transfers over it. So, I thought that that's my, maybe where we would start working on that tonight. And then also, there will be new foils coming to before I forget. Um, there'll be new foils coming this week, probably at some point. And then I know there is a Dixie Darlings uh, foil that's also coming that will coincide with this sheet. And it should be here this, it will be here this week as well. Uh, the first of this week. So look for that one too. And then there's a cowhide one that's also in that mix. And then um, Susanna has a leopard one that's coming too. So hey, Tina. And Miss Chaos Creations by KG. How are y'all? <laughs> so, anyway. Um, okay. So, the transfers are live. If you haven't had a chance to go get them, on southernbellglitter.com. And their discount code is Kelly10. Uh, so, Tina, I might need your help. If Julie couldn't stay on tonight. And so, if one of y'all might could like, if y'all are here. If not, it's not a big deal. I can probably type it in. But I'm going to move y'all a little bit closer just so y'all can kind of see. And I can see y'all since Julie wasn't going to be able to be here and moderate. So, and I'm y'all know me. I'll just ignore any comments that are unnecessary. I won't even mute anybody tonight, probably. So, but so Angel claimed the cup last night. I put the uh, gold roses around it. And so, I thought, um, and Tina, if you got something to do, don't worry about it, girlfriend. Like, it's not a big deal. But I'm super excited. I'm super excited that everybody else is excited about getting their transfers. So that makes me really, really happy that y'all love them and we're excited to get them too. So, uh, I was trying to think. There's some stuff I've been working on today, but most of it's on the turner right now. And then also the holographic patterns, y'all, were restocked at uh, the Vinyl Cottage. So I don't know if you saw my post or not, but the holographics, this is one of the holographics right here um, that was restocked. There is, this one was also restocked that is like a really pretty watercolor. And then two of them I have on cups that are not quite dry yet. And, oh, and the camo one. I was like, I knew there was another one right here. Then this camo one was also restocked. And then there's a green leopard and uh, something else, y'all. 
I thought I had them all out here somewhere. But I might have already put them on a cup. I don't know. Y'all know I have to like, I have to think now. Um, you're here. You'll take care of them. Oh, sweet. Thank you. You won't get blocked this time. <laughs> I know. Isn't that the craziest thing? Like, who knows what goes on some days, right? So, if y'all, if somebody wants to see these and you've not seen them, I'm sure most of y'all have seen these by now because I've really, I told y'all, y'all gonna be sick of me by the time they actually got here. So, and I'm gonna put a little music on in the background since we're on TikTok, y'all. And then I guess, well, yeah, I probably won't, I don't know. I don't know, do you get in trouble if I try to post this on YouTube after the fact? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna go to have a little music on the background, all right? You got the new one with the electric neon pink on it. This one right here, isn't it gorgeous? The, and then another one that she did that she did that she didn't do before maybe that's the one you're talking about because there's another new one that i've actually got on the turner and then if you guys remember i did a cut that had a holographic decal on it that was uh the prey decal and i did a brush stroke patterns in the background she's got that one available this time too if it wasn't it's on a cup it should be dry here shortly y'all so uh well i can show you it looks like this it's the holographic version of this because this is the little piece i cut off the bottom of it so and then <laughs> there's another fun one that looks like this. So it's kind of like a variation. This is maybe the one you're talking about. Yeah, the, that's the one, this is the one you're talking about. Yeah, I've got that on a cup already and it's, uh, it's got epoxy on it. It should be dry by, by the time, at some point tonight. And then I don't know that I have the other one like right here in my hand, but there's also a le green leopard. So, I know, like these I'm obsessed with. And that if you like if you like this one, that electric pink, it's like an electric pink and teal color. And then the brushstroke ones I love too. So, hey, hey, they're pretty, where can you order? So those, the holographic are from the Vinyl Cottage. And there, my code is Dixie 10. Dixie 10 there, Southern Belle Glitter is Kelly 10. So yeah, and this one's another one. I believe this one was restocked. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw, so this is one of the transfers. But I'm gonna go back in and add some like, uh, with my, um, they're called, so if you go on the website and you go under, y'all, I just pulled this up earlier. If you go under products and then you go under patterned vinyl, there'll be a tab that says holographic patterns. So then, uh, and, th and they're all listed up under there. And I assume that she has inventory of all of them. I know she had printed off as many as she had. She printed off her whole roll of metallic vinyl that she had and, um, and was ready to go this morning. So, um, but yeah, so this, uh, yes, I'm gonna go in with my acrylic, like my gold acrylic marker. I may work on this tonight a little bit. Uh, the vinyl cottage, I'm sorry, y'all. I guess I, um, let's see. I don't know how I type in here, y'all. I've always had y'all do it for me. <laughs> Thank goodness. I don't even know how you type in the comments. Y'all, I'm so goofy with this stuff. No, there's no questions and answers yet, okay. I thought I was hitting that where it gave me the type. It gives me the enhance and effects, which is not what I want. Do you recommend adding glitter to them or just leaving them plain? Uh, so it's the vinyl cottage shop.com. Um, a purple pixie. Uh, no, you, so yeah, thank you, Tina. The vinyl cottage. And the Dix, the, it's just the vinyl cottage shop.com. And the code is Dixie10 for them to save 10% on your order. Um, so I have done them, but well, so I'm probably adding glitter to almost all of them. I, I thought I had another one on a cup too, but this one, I ended up, like you can see, I had spray painted this cup gold already, uh, because I was, I had plans for it. And then I ended up doing this. Thank you. Thank y'all. Um, oh, Steph, sorry. I can't, why can I not remember that? Um, so this one I did put glitter over because, uh, so I will say that, um, it's not quite as stretchy as her normal vinyl. So the two that I did today, I did go ahead and pull it around to the bottom, uh, but it's not quite as stretchy as, um, it's not quite as stretchy as like the normal vinyl. So this one, you can see like, I did like this. I cut it kind of like right off at the bottom. I used my little tool from Wicked Shimmer uh, just because it is a little more, you know, it's a little steadier or something. I don't know. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, on this one I did put glitter. I kind of covered up the same stuff. And um, hey there, Miss Jessica. Thank you for telling me, because y'all know I don't work. I don't know anybody like I don't know the names like that, <laughs> the business names. I'm sorry, y'all. Eventually, I'll learn them. <laughs> Can't yes, you can. Okay, so and Tina, today I actually tried it, and I didn't even have to use the heat gun. 
It, it pulled around better today than I remembered. And then maybe I was just kind of, into, maybe I was just nervous to do it last time. Because I could tell it was a little bit stiffer. But actually today I pulled it around the bottom and it did okay. So, but you definitely could help it to get around the bottom. But I think like today it did fine. So I think maybe it was just my mental hurdle that I was afraid it was going to be. Um, you know, I'm just not sure how that was going to look. Yes, I mean, I think it looks fine. This is, um, hmm, I'd have to go look. I know it's a PDB. And it may be Twilight that I put over. I'm not sure. It's one of the whites that I had sitting out here. And then I actually went in and um, layered. This is actually texture paste. So, some of y'all saw me do it. And Tina, your cup has this on it too. It's on the turner right now too. Um, I'm gonna go back in with some metallic accents, right? So it's all gonna pull together. So it's not gonna be left like this. But this is actually from Miss Lillian's that you also can get from Southern Belle Glitter. And it's just a powder and you mix it in with the, I guess you can mix it in with anything. I mix it in with the metallic paints and then I laid a stencil down. Well, I started out laying a stencil down. Then I just ended up painting them by hand. Like these, I just kind of painted by hand. But you can see it gives it like a raised, it's, I mean, I know it's hard to see on the metallic, but it's, it's like a raised, it, it makes it raised, so it's not a flat paint once you put it on there. So, <laughs> um, I know it does look gold, right? So, and the handle I already painted in gold. Well, thank you, girl of Goldens. I, I'm glad y'all like my accent because I can't stand listening to myself talk. So, but yes, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to add, I'll show y'all. Let me see. While we're sitting here chatting it up, what my plans are. And I was going to say, I had a feeling I'd move. Oh, you know what? Here's some of them right here. That's actually what I was looking for. Um, this one, I don't think she restocked, but this one should be restocked, I feel like, also at the Vital Cottage. And I'm not sure if she restocked this one or not. The electric, is the electric neon one claimed? This one right here, ooh, is this one claimed? Y'all help me. I don't think this one is. I don't think this one is claimed. I don't think this one ever got claimed. No, nope, because I just kind of started playing with this. So, I'll show you what I was planning on doing with it, though. I wanted to take some of this copper. And... I was going to take, like, these two. And, like, also layer in on top of this. Just some little accent pieces. To, like, bring it all kind of together. So, oh, the other... The electric neon... Uh, no, the other one you showed. Oh, this one, this one right here. Is this one I'm sure I'm about? I know, nobody's claimed this one either yet. And I'm going to add some foils to it. So I thought we might actually work on that tonight. I have, I thought I was going to add some magenta to it. And then, um, and then I got this, I got this, <laughs> I got this disco one that I thought would be, it's kind of fun. So I honestly thought I was going to at least put this on the bottom just to bring it in together. So, um, and then I probably still will add some magenta. And then there's a new one that just, I got a bunch of new colors yesterday, y'all, and they, they won't be on the website until next week, but I can show y'all. So this is the magenta, but then there's this really pretty purple too. So I had a, I wanted to, I wanted to put, and then, then the color shift. So if y'all can see, Cindy sent me a shirt from Southern Belle Glitter. And there's a new like color shift. You can see she used it on the foils on the shirt, so. And I would have it on tonight if it wasn't 85 degrees here. So, <laughs> I was like, I can't wear this sweatshirt today. But so yeah, I wanted to add some of, probably this in here a little bit too. Some accents of this, cause I think it's so fun. Yes, you can, girl, you can. I'm writing your name out right now. Y'all know I gotta, I gotta keep my list going over here so I can keep up with everything. And then if you were on my live yesterday, I did, fully wrap a cup in leopard and I have plans to put the opal dreams on top of it so when you put this opal dreams over this leopard right here I think this is the leopard I used it uh y'all can see like this when you layer this over it look how look it's like a totally different leopard so I got big plans for this one. So I got the cup wrapped, it's under epoxy, and then the Opal Dreams is going in on the labor. Is that not so crazy, y'all? It just, blo it, I mean, I know y'all think I'm probably crazy, but hey there, Miss Lottie Cat Creations. 
and <laughs> and Ann Daniels. So, I mean, like, I just, that blows my mind that, like, it totally turns it into, like, a different pattern. So, I have big, I'm not going to do a full wrap with this. I got other plans. It's going to be kind of fun. So, I think. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, Steph, let me write this down, too, before I forget, girlfriend. So, yeah, so that blows my mind that it does this. So these are actually, I don't, these will be available this week. I don't, they don't have a name yet, but they will be available at Southern Bell Glitter. She just got them to me. Um, girl, don't, look, okay, Steph, you can't be doing that tonight. Like, you can't be crying because I've been emotional all day. There's just been a whole bunch of stuff going on. And, um, and so I was like, I cannot get on here and cry tonight because I'm, a, I was all emotional all day. Um, yeah, so this, I'm not sure what she's going to call this. This is actually, well, I'm guessing it's going to be restocked, but it shows that it's sold out right now. But this is called Opal Dreams. So, but yeah, it blows my mind. I mean, I know that really shouldn't, y'all, because I've already done a cup with how it shifts, but it just, look. Okay, so we I played around with this one, and then there's also another holographic leopard that's coming that is the same thing, y'all. <laughs> Like, same thing, look. It's like all black. No, wait a minute, I got this turned around backwards. I can't if I turned it around right. Same thing. It like totally shifts. It's harder for y'all to see this one because of the holographic, but it totally shifts it to the same thing. So, I know. This is like, this is making me crazy right here. I know it's almost like if I pull it back a little bit, I think last night y'all can see it a little bit better, but it's crazy how it just changes that. Um. Uh, oh, this one. Oh, the Opal Dreams. And I feel like she's going to restock that. Thank you, Tina. I know, right? On my Facebook group. We, that's where we do. Everything's posted. And I have a, I, I just, y'all, it's been kind of crazy since the launch of the transfers. So, I haven't gotten a chance. But I am going to do a post of all the men's cups. So, I haven't forgotten about y'all. Because we talked about it last night. But, yeah, I mean, like, any of them. Y'all, it just, so fun. I'm really obsessed with this Opal Dreams. Because the last one I did, you know, is that tree, uh, the, the, I mean, you can see kind of what it looks like right here. And if y'all were all, so for everybody, I think I covered up a lot of it last night though. I did use a bunch of these foils on a cup last night. Yeah, I covered it up. But we did it over black. And this is what it looks like over black. And then this is actually under another foil. So, and this is that fun little disc that I had. Some little stars. This fun little pattern here. Solid white. Yeah. So, yeah, when we were playing around with this last night in the Facebook group, I was like, ooh, this is pretty inter interesting to me. So, that was my, this is my, like, crab cup. The two look awesome together. I might drop in and out since we're driving. Yeah, girlfriend, like, look, it's Saturday night, too. I know y'all got stuff to be doing other than sitting here watching me. But, I could have, I had to come on here. Where do you get the foils? From Southern Bell Glitter. SouthernBellGlitter.com. And she just opened up the website 18 minutes ago, y'all. So... Uh, it's been closed unless you were on the waiting list for the Dixie Darlings transfers. So, yeah. So, my plan was to add some of these on accent on top of this cup to bring it all together. I promise y'all it will look better than it does right now. This is one of those that I just have to trust the process with, right? So, and then if y'all want to see me vinyl wrap a cup, I've just got a couple little things. I was going to play with this one. I want to put um, the transfers on this one. And enjoy watching you. Well, hello from Mississippi. Ivy Designs and Crafts. We got six more hours of driving. Oh, girl. Well, I can't stay on here for six hours, girlfriend. Look, I went to bed at like almost four o'clock this morning. My alarm went off at 6.30 and I was like wide, I was like wide open from there. So, I was trying to see because there's another really pretty color. I'm going to add, I'm going to, I want to add. Get, staff, if you want that one, you don't care what I do to it, right? Like, I can kind of play and add whatever. Are you good with that? Because I really like this one. Then I, I want to add the color shift. Then there's also this color that's new that I think could be fun. And this is the other new one that I want to play with. So, it's like a... So, yeah. All these are coming, y'all, this week on Southern Bedler. You're excited about your... Oh, well, what's up, Ms. April? April, you're actually going to make a cup after... Yes, you are. So, look, we've just been going through all the holographic patterns. 
and playing with them. And then I've got two more that are on the turner. The electric pink one and the, the neon brushstrokes are all on one right now. So I'm gonna play with one of them with the foils. And then on this one, I'm gonna add these transfers. Because this angel claimed this cup last night. Oh, come on, just, uh, I know you got some cups of bottle wrap and some magic marbles to do. Girl, I ain't got no magic marbles to do tonight. <laughs> I am freaking hydro dipped out. Not really. I could actually, I'm like, I, you know what's funny is that I kept my bucket out there because I kept thinking I would come back and like hydro dip more. And then the freaking transfers, I've just been, you know, like, you know, like Cindy did all the work, y'all, but I just feel like, like I'm responsible for them, so... They've like, they've given me anxiety that I, that I wanted everybody to love them and them be well and everything go to smooth. As for the most part, I have to say, I feel like it's gone fairly smooth. Um, like there's a few people that didn't seem to get their emails or, you know, whatever, and then we got them all fixed up. So, hey, Tumblr Bumbler. <laughs> uh, and I did, of course, I have vinyl wraps to do. I mean, April knows. I got a freaking boatload of freaking vinyl ones <laughs> everywhere. I told her, I said, I can't even look for any patterns because I got too much to do. Okay, so I'm going to put these directly on here, y'all. And hopefully, like, I'm going to try to turn y'all a little bit where you kind of better see maybe what I'm doing from an angle a little bit. I don't know. Y'all have to kind of tell me what angle you can see the best. So, I thought I would do this perfectly imperfect decal, really. It's, it's kind of what my original thought was. But if y'all have not seen these robot transfers, y'all, they're so freaking... They're great, and these have got the metallic accents in them, which I'm totally obsessed with. Like these little metallic accents, and that is not there. There's not another line of them that she's done that has the metallic in it. So super cool. I can show you. This looks like that under epoxy. Like it's super sparkly. I know, no, we went through this. It's hard to see, <laughs> but it is sparkly, y'all. It's like hard. And then somebody asked me about this cup earlier what kind of glitter I had on it. It does not have any glitter. I just spray painted it black and white ombre. And then I put Cullen from Feather Beverly into the epoxy. So it just kind of appears that is glittered, but it actually, I did not glitter it. So, but yeah, these are like, and obviously I gotta have another coat of epoxy. I've sanded it down a little bit, but I was gonna show that y'all, it is really sparkly. So, hey, we're running with scissors 500. <laughs> Uh, you need to get those. Yes. Do you know if they come flat or in a tube? They're going to come in a tube, Steph. It's, well, the exception, yeah. Like, there may be some overruns at some point that don't have the packaging. But I actually think all of mine have the packaging with them, too. Um, that were just extras that they did. So, but they are out there. I don't know. I have no clue what's going on with them. I told Cindy I was not going to look at how they were doing. I just was going to, like... Say a little prayer before they went live and just hope that everybody loved them and got them that wanted them so okay so that's kind of what my thought was here i don't know that i'm going to layer any of the goals in i originally thought i was going to do the camo but uh hmm. y'all normally see me with a plan and tonight i'm kind of just like this is the part that i have to just think about and play around with because she wanted the leopard and the roses on there so i was like okay i can do that i just have to think about it a little bit different so hey erica thanks for joining us over here erica you could probably like hell i got tina in here julie couldn't stay tonight she had a family uh, thing going on and uh so if y'all see anybody being ugly boot them out of here <laughs> i'm just joking y'all know i don't care it's been a day already so there's not much that can bother me after today so I think that my thought was, is that how I've got these kind of laid in here, that somehow I'm gonna lay these also in here. And then I may end up going in and adding, hmm. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna put them on here and then I'm gonna see. Because I think I'll probably end up layering some kind of leopard on top of this to try to bring all this in together. Um, you can't wait to get your temperatures. I know. And y'all, Cindy will be back, and she will be, like, raring to go to ship them out because she knows everybody's, like, been so patiently waiting. And y'all, she's on vacation, and she, I feel bad because she's really, I like, we've been, she's been working. <laughs> so, okay. 
She wanted the red roses on here. So I'm probably gonna end up, I may end up tying these in with some of this gold too. But y'all, I had to put this on here on this Kodak. This Kodak is from Southern Belle Glitter also. And I'm freaking obsessed with this color glitter. <laughs> and then I was like, I gotta put the red roses on there. They look, I mean the gold roses. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and this first one, I think I probably will end up going here. The second one will probably end up, I wanna just kinda space them out. This one is one of my favorites, and I always, like, I don't know, I just think it's really cool. So, I may actually not do this perfectly, per perfectly imperfect. I may actually print off a gold decal that would lay on top of this that'll help tie all this in together. It's kind of what I'm thinking, actually, now. So, these might actually go closer together. I think I'm actually going to put this one on first, because I know I want it. And y'all just, like, I'm just kind of looking for where I want, like, the spacing to go. Like, what I like the way this one looks. So. But I cannot wait for y'all to get the transfers, too. Because I can't wait to see what everybody does with them. Like, I s promise y'all I'm just as excited about that as I am, like, me using them. To see what all y'all come up with. And so, like, literally, okay, the only thing about these, if you've not ever used these... Rub on transfers, y'all. Once you put them on there, you can't pull them off. Like, they're not really, like, you can't move them. So, once they stick, they're on there. Because it will kind of pull off. And then, all my sets with the, that come in the tubes will have one of these burnishing sticks. And I think Cindy was getting them in at Southern Real Glitter to, to have extras as well. Because a lot of y'all, because I've been using these for my foils too, so a lot of people are asking for them. So, hey, we Sparkle. Well, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'm trying to be more consistent with y'all to get them out there. Um, I have so much video recorded and then it's like I, we talk about the cup and I show the cup and then and then I don't ever put the YouTube out there because I end up doing um, I end up doing something on you know like in the Facebook group or something so. And you'll kind of see, like, if y'all can see, like, as you start rubbing them, you'll see this little carrier sheet start pulling off. So, it'll actually, like, as you rub, it'll separate. Just if you've never used these before. So, you kind of see. I'm trying to see if y'all can get it right here. Uh-oh. But, yeah, as you're rubbing it, it'll, you'll kind of see it separate. And I put these on here, uh, these foils on here, y'all, and I do not, I have not put a layer of epoxy. So, I just am going right on top of the foils and doing this. You need to get some of those transfers, do you hope? So, I'm pretty sure that in the Facebook group, one night, somebody asked her about shipping to Australia, and she said yes, that she would. So, Nikki, check uh, if you, because they're all, I'm, I can send her a message too, but I'm pretty sure that she, um, somebody asked in the Facebook group when she was live with me, we were painting cups one night. Uh, doing patinas, and I'm pretty sure somebody asked in the Facebook group, and she said that she would ship. Let me get this on here, and I'll ask her real quick. Yep, yeah, so you can see I just went right over the foils, and I added them right over there. So, let me text her real quick, and say, ask her if she ships, just to make sure. All we can do is ask, right? Yeah, Tina, I thought she said yeah, too. I thought so, too. Hey, Jean Bug, How are you? Didn't you do a custom full, too? Yes, Erica. The custom full will be to Cindy on Tuesday. So, I don't know when she'll actually list it online, but it, it she'll have it coming Tuesday. Sorry, y'all. Okay. I know she was going to dinner, and she's on vacation, so... so. She may not respond immediately, but y'all know I gotta get my little pot holder over here to like, you're having a huge problem getting your foils to stick to the tumblers and I'm using slick stick. So Mindy, are you using the, um, the Wicked Stick It? Um, 
Hey, Jampot Gems, your UK gal here. And well, so we were just asking her. She, she said, yes, yeah, she will strip draw Australia. So if you want them, they are available on the website right now. So that was good timing. Okay, she said they sh you should be able to purchase directly. If not, they can use the contact us option on the website. So if you purchase them, yeah, I guess you could say purchase them. If not, use the contact us. So send her a message and she'll she'll, she'll have some. Um, you printed the master list off to keep track of what foils I have and what I need. I know, so it's funny because, so the other, she had, she held it one the other day, I think it was like Champagne Cheat or something, I said, I don't have that one. And she's like, I've had this one forever. And I was like, I don't have that one. And, uh, and so she's like, go to the website and make a list of everything you don't have. <laughs> Yes, the wicket stick it. Okay, so okay, so are you using the heat gun to let it dry, or are you just letting it dry by itself? Like I'm trying to troubleshoot you because there's a lot of different factors sometimes that go into that. Um, thank you about my shirt. This is like one of those little short sleeve sweatshirts. I love this thing. I have it on my website. I finally got them in to list them for y'all. So okay. So we got her. Do you want me to send them to your, oh yeah, you can. Um, you're letting it dry by itself. Okay, well gosh then, it should not be an issue. Uh, what foil is it? Because all foils are not created equally. We do know that. So, uh, hey y'all, hey, hey, hey. Sorry y'all are coming in here fast. I'm missing some of y'all. So, mystery. <laughs> ordered your transfers. Whoop, whoop. Hey Amy, I'm TikTok challenge. I know yours, because yours is your, your, like, yours is almost the same thing as this is in the Facebook group, right? It was the Purple Leopard. Oh, dang, and that's not even a hard one. Good stick, really. Because some of them are hard, right? Like, y'all, if you were, if you were in the Facebook group last night, I had one that I could not get to stick. It was, even on the, and I was using the Tumblr tape or the Cat Scratch. I was using both, and uh, I couldn't get it to stick, so, uh the purple leopard. Okay, gosh, I don't know with the wicked stick it because that wicked stick it works really good too. And you're letting it dry by itself. Uh, hold on a second and let me. I don't have the wicked stick it. I'm out of that actually. Um, but let me get the purple and just play around with it. You okay with that? And let me put. I'll just use this duo gel transfer. Actually, you know what I might use is I might just use my spray adhesive because I want to see what it'll do with the spray. The purple leopard and the pink foil. You were having trouble with the. Okay, well, hold on, y'all. Hey, Wendy. Uh, well, I'll play with it right now because. Sorry, y'all, about this thing, you see? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. And, okay, and the pink. Okay, so in the pink, just like the, the pink waterfall, or was it like a solid pink, or. I'll play y'all. I'll at least try to figure out. We'll, we'll try to figure out. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. Did you try using the heat gun on the cat scratch to see if it would help? No, girl. I never did. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's been like, cray cray a little bit. You yeah, absolutely, because I sit, didn't get it to work. Um, you, oh, you, well, if you use the Southern Bell adhesive and it didn't work, oh, wow, we got to, yeah. We might have to, wait a minute. What just happened to my face? Here it is. We'll have to figure this out because if you can get it to work with the Southern Bell Okay, let me get my dupe cup over here. Wait a minute, let me, where's, the, there's a white one somewhere. That, yeah, I've still got. Yeah, so that's the one I couldn't get to stick last night. It was one of the new ones, but I'm, we're still playing with that one. <laughs> I did get the leopard cup wrapped last night here. <laughs> that's one of the things I did do. And uh, I just want to, I don't know, that's probably dangerous for me to start with that. But now let me get this out of the way. Because I've used the purple one. As a matter of fact, I got the purple one on a cup. Yeah. This cup is Devin's. And I've got the purple and the one on here. And I didn't even, I don't even know that I had Southern Bell adhesive then. I feel like I used the spray, but I don't know. I'll have to see. But that was definitely not a cat scratch sheet because that was the. No, I don't think it's user error. I mean, like if y'all have used, you know, like there's a couple of y'all. And I can tell you what it will stick to is a, one of those double-sided adhesive sheets if you can't get it to do anything else. I don't know. This could be, y'all can see, it could be a fail too, y'all. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, this whole cup, like, this whole side 
is like the green and the purple, and it totally did fine. So, but I want to let me try. I'm gonna play with it. The Wicked Stick It comes from Wicked Shimmer on her website. So, I don't know. We'll play with I don't know. Because I, I, I want to say on that cup I used the spray adhesive, but I don't really know. But I'm going to have to let it sit and dry for just a minute. You can never get the foils to stick right. You need Southern Belle Glitters <laughs> adhesive, first of all. Truly, I mean, it does work the best. That duo works fine for me, too, because I've used it. Um, I do use this one, too. That's the Deco Foil. Because Cindy was out of hers for a while, so I was using that. And then I do use the, I use the spray adhesive. Now, it may be a total fail right now, but... Um, we'll see. You can... Uh, okay, yeah, you're just going to about not getting them to stick right. Well, they do stick, I will say, to those double-sided adhesive sheets. So, that's like that's what I used last night to get all of these on here. You can see it's like really good coverage. And I think I'm gonna start adding it, like I'm gonna do some decals with them and I'm gonna put the cat scratch on adhesive vinyl and then put the foils on it and do it that way. I'm gonna play around with some of those too. Um, but like this one, you know, this one's probably one of the harder ones to get to stick to these ro the roses that are like a sheen on sheen rose. Maybe I should try the deco foil adhesive because, yeah, I mean, I do use that one and it does work. And then this is just like a spray that I got at Hobby Lobby. This is what I started out using, y'all. I didn't have any other adhesive. When Cindy first sent me foils, I didn't know anything about foils. I mean, just being honest. So, um... Thank you. Tina, you're like such a good little moderator. Thank you for being so sweet. And she actually knew the Crafts by Diana. Thanks for joining Kelly. Look at you, Tina, go. Yes, yeah, so I got, okay, so before I do this next time, I probably should figure out how you even type in the comments, because I don't know. I don't, I'm like, I don't, I've never even tried to type in the comment. What's up, Miss Shamika Shamika? You're not going to want to see this, okay, y'all? Because you saw I just sprayed this adhesive on there. And okay, so just so y'all know, this is, like, you can say I bought this at Hobby Lobby. I was actually using this for stencils. But I emptied the first bottle, and this, I had to go back and buy a second bottle. Um, so, Cindy's over here update. She's like, people are shopping like crazy. I'm like, good. <laughs> uh, so... I will say that, like, I didn't really do a really good job of the spray, but it, it like, came off pretty seamlessly. You got your transfers, and yes, you remembered your code. Whoop, whoop, sweet. <laughs> I know, right? So, I mean, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, it, there's no, like, you all save your 10% is the main thing, right? I'm like, because they were asking the Facebook group last night if, uh, if, if uh, you could use your code, I'm like, yes, she'll, of course she'll let you use your code. And you can buy the other things at the same time. Probably right now, people are not buying other things because they're trying to get them before they, I don't know that they'll sell out, y'all. I don't know. I would, it made me really, it would just, it would make me cry tonight. Bought your transfers, forgot to put your code in. <laughs> you forgot your code once again. <laughs> Deb Blevins. <laughs> y'all are funny. Y'all just, you were so excited, right? Is that what it was? Y'all were so excited. Okay, so are y'all trying to do like a full coverage thing of this? Because, I mean, I just did, like, I can do a better job of y'all do. I just kind of wanted to see if it was going to transfer at all. But I feel like it did. There's a lot of items that are sold out. Um, Diane, why does that say D? Your middle name knows B E. Uh, is that what it is? Your middle name? Y'all know y'all got to correct me on here. Uh, you remember yours after you hit purchase. That's what I'm saying. Y'all were just so excited that y'all forgot your discount codes. Y'all 10% y'all save. And I do have a little secret that is that we're going to have a little time frame where the Kelly 10, it's still going to be Kelly 10, but it's going to get bumped up to be a little bit bigger discount. So, so y'all stay tuned for that. Uh, you remembered your code and got more foils. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth. Okay. So I figured it had to be your middle name, Elizabeth. Um, I wanted my name to be Elizabeth, my middle name to be Elizabeth, my first name to be Mary, but my mom, she's probably on here right now watching too. She was here earlier, y'all. Um, okay. So, 
is this what y'all are looking for this to have better coverage y'all want me to do a better job of this y'all that were wanting to use this purple you're looking for full cover so i'm gonna st um I mean, I think if you did, I think if you, I mean, like, obviously you saw me just spray a little spot. I think if you sprayed the whole thing or you used, yeah, uh, use the spray or the deco. Because I'm pretty sure that one I did with spray. I'd be willing to bet because that was one of the first ones I did. I remember. Devin's going to kill me because I haven't finished it yet. But uh, You're here. Oh, see, Mom, I didn't even know what... Look, y'all, my mom, look at this. Okay, so this is why I didn't notice last time that she was on here was because she set up a, I guarantee you, she set up a TikTok just for this, and it's MomDD76, which is the year I was born. Y'all know, I don't, I'll tell y'all. And she's Mama Dixie Darlings, so sweet. <laughs> Mama DD76. So, yeah, so I think that would, I think if you sprayed the whole cup, I mean, like, I, obviously, but I mean, it, you see, I didn't really even rub it, y'all, so, it must be the adhesive, but I'll try it with the different ones if y'all want me to, <laughs> I know, hi, mom, yes, mom, everybody's saying hey to mom, mama's here today, and what was she doing, oh, no, she, she left Papa Dixie Darlings here, and he had a bunch of questions, because he's got culture sculpt, y'all, and he's dangerous, so he uh he's making a cup with a cheerleader on it instead of my the balloon girl he's got other plans to do um i use this spray adhesive mama dd is so sweet i don't know y'all she is she is a sweetheart hey danielle i didn't see you on here either earlier so this is a spray adhesive i got at hobby lobby y'all and it says stencil ease it is actually for like repositional uh, repositional for like if you're putting tra uh stencils on something but this only thing I had here when I first got this tra uh, the foils, and so I was like, well, let me just try it and see if it's going to work or not. And it worked. So, yeah, that's what I just used on there. So, I think that would work, girls, that are looking for the purple. Now, I don't know about the pink. Um, let me see. I don't know that I have a light pink, though. Like, I have the magenta, and I've got the pink waterfalls. So, that may be a color that... Um, <laughs> Like, is it this one? This, like, the pink, what she calls the pink waterfalls? I've got a plum. And then she just sent me a bunch. But I don't think that was, because we went through the list of what I had and what I didn't have. And that's what I said, don't be worried about me right now. Uh, how do we know which ones are textile rated? So, pretty much everything that's new is textile rated. I think there's only a couple on the website. And it tells you on there that they're not. Like when you go order them, I'm pretty sure it tells you, she's updated the website to know that they are. You were told the longer you leave deco foil on, the better it works before you apply the foil. Yes, it, that is, Erica, it does work that way. I mean, it's almost like I'll dry with my heat gun and then it was a plain light pink, but I think it must be my adhesive. Okay. Um, so, uh, I just lost my train of thought, y'all. What were we just talking about? I don't even remember. That's how today's go. Oh, textile rated. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only a couple that are that she has now that aren't textile rated. Rated. You were looking to see if you could use them on your nails. Yeah, you can use them on your nails, girl. I almost took mine yesterday. I almost took them yesterday and got them to use them on my nails. And I think I might just do it myself because she did them yesterday. I'm not crazy about the gold she used. And so, I really want to use that silver gold. And I want to put them right there in those tiny little spots in between my leopard. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's only, and I think the Koi, uh, not Koi Cheetah, the Cheetah Licious, you can't use that one on clothes because we've all figured that out. We've all used it before we knew that you couldn't. So, okay, let me go back. Unless y'all want me to keep playing with foils and putting stuff on there, then hey, hey, the floral cactus, how are you? Uh, Unless y'all want me to keep playing with foils, uh, you can't get your hands on Dolly. Well, Trisha, it's funny because Cindy actually got Hey Dolly in, but it's not Hey Dolly. She called me and she was really upset and she had ordered a whole bunch of it. And she said, Hey Dolly's here and I got a boatload of it, but it's not Hey Dolly. So, she did have it. So, of course, she immediately like reached out to them. So, y'all know what the original Hey Dolly looks like. This is going to be, it's probably going to be Hey Dolly 2.0. So, it's similar, but it's, uh, the gold is a little bit different. So, we immediately knew. 
We need nail size Dixie Darlings transfers next. Hey, that's a great idea, Erica. I'm like, wait till I tell Cindy this. She's gonna be like, shut your mouth. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Thank you, Shamika. I know, I just got to, well, <laughs> and today I've been messing up with them, but y'all know, I, every time she's like, where's your picture at? And I was like, I know, I always take a picture in there, and she's like, what you got this week? <laughs> so, yeah, they were bad. When I was editing that video the other day, I was like, these don't look too hot. I need to probably, like, go get my nails done. Okay, so I'm adding the rub-on transfers, y'all, to here. Um, I know, and you know what we should, that would be telling, she was gonna, she's gonna kill me, because now she knows I'm gonna actually, like, start, uh, start bugging her about stuff, but, uh, <laughs> if we had, like, a little hey y'all, and, like, little fun stuff like that that you could put on there, too, so. She said y'all are shopping, or people are shopping, so, I guess that's good. I guess that means people wanted transfers. Okay. Um, she was texting me something else already, so I was like, okay. okay so, I want to put, I think I want to put both of these on here, but I want to kind of space them out. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to go back over this one and then do some kind of detail on there versus, I had good intentions to put the perfectly imperfect on there. <laughs> um... Well, thank you, Tina. Tina's like a, <laughs> killing it with the moderator tonight. So, yeah, I mean, I don't want to cover up the roses is the only thing. I don't know. Do I just leave it like that, y'all? I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, you need whole sheets of Howland cow, cow transfer. I love that. Well, thank you. Look, I said that, right? I said I could have done a whole sheet of, uh, literally, I could have done a whole sheet of that Highland cow. Because I want to put him on everything. So, I know. We'll, we'll put Cindy down for that one, too. Say, hey, we want transfers that go on your nails, and we're going to need a whole sheet of Highland cows. Um... Yeah, I'm trying, I'm kind of looking at it, y'all, because I was going to add all these on here, but now I'm not sure. Now I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of second guessing myself here. So y'all are getting like a true kill tonight of like, how's this going to play out? Because I don't really know myself. That's what I thought would really be pretty, and that was my intentions, really. I'm kind of doing this, but it doesn't really go with the... I guess it kind of does. Maybe it would. Maybe I do do this side. Uh, thank you, Sue. You need some Yellowstone transfers, too. Oh, Lord. Did you epoxy? I did not epoxy over the... No, I just put it on here a few minutes ago. And I did not... I just put the foils on, and I put the transfer right on top of the foils as well. I don't know. Can you do that? You'd have to have some kind of license thing. I feel like I'm really close to y'all. <laughs> I was trying to show y'all that cup, but now I feel like I'm too close. So, yeah, I only epoxied over the glitter on this one, and then I added the, the foils and the transfer. So, now I'm just kind of, like, trying to decide here. I don't know. I really like this red one. What do y'all think? I think that's really pretty. I think that might be what I do. I don't know. I put this on a cup that y'all haven't seen because I didn't like it and I pulled it off. Look at Sue go with the roses. Ro Sue, are you getting out roses over there? Sorry, y'all. If I'm not looking at the screen, I don't... Thank you, Sue. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, no. I want to just kind of like... I'm not putting it on here yet, y'all. I'm kind of just looking to see what I think. But see, it's a different color red. That's what I'm going to get into. Okay. It looks really pretty, though, with the... You know, why not? Oh, you're so sweet. Uh, see, it looks really... Like, if you put it, if you put it over the gold roses, can y'all see that it kind of, like, looks kind of sparkly? 
but I don't know. But I can, you cannot put it on there, or once it's on there, you cannot pull it off. So that's the only thing that's a little bit different here. <sighs> Maybe I just add some of the roses around there instead of the brush strokes. really goes on y'all when y'all don't see this you got to order your dixie darlings transfers thank you for ordering it you could get away with it if you do a western inspired collection yeah well and a lot of those on that one sheet right um yeah you could do it with like the holland probably like with the holland cow thing i guess like a lot of those right I know, I do want a whole sheet of these. These and these, like I would use a lot of these hearts right here too. I can have a feeling. Cause I've already used like several of the hearts that I love. Um, PDB, does it come in two ounces? Um, this is packaged by weight and not volume. So yes, two ounces, <laughs> is that right? Uh, I know, you are gonna love these, y'all. They're so fun, I swear. Like, I'm, there's a whole bunch of them on cups already that y'all hadn't seen yet. The Highland Cow with the turquoise and the leopard print images, I've seen, yes, that is uh, probably one of my favorites. And Leona claimed that one. Fairly quick, and then I had to do another one that got claimed, so. I think I might, I don't know, y'all. I should just do what I intended to do, and I was just gonna kind of space these around. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to layer some other foils on it. So, to like kind of tie it all in together. The, it would be nice to order single decal. You just logged on. Where are the transfers from? They are from Southern Bell Glitter and they just went live at 7 o'clock. So, they are still available. <laughs> You weren't much for the leopard print until I met you. <laughs> Girl, I was not a leopard print either. Do you probably don't even remember this, Erica? At, um, at, uh, so it was probably, it would have been the NRA show. And there was a guy that was doing fishing stuff right there. And he was working with another with uh, Caesars Lodge. That's also from Canada. And they started this leopard print hunter thing. I don't know if you remember doing, me doing this. You know, so like after that show in Indianapolis, that was where, like, we, this whole leopard print hunter thing, like, where we would go around and take pictures, like, incognito of people wearing leopard print, right? And so, I was, I was like, I would never wear leopard print. I mean, so, it wasn't that long ago where I was just like, no, I would not ever wear leopard print. And so, I wasn't a leopard print person either. And I don't know what's happened to me. I'm like, totally, you know, turned it around. Yeah. Yeah, right, Erica? There's like a whole... Because I kept posting it in my Instagram story at the time. Because you've been around since the beginning. So, it was like, yeah. So, yeah, we had so much fun. And I was just like making fun of people. I was like, I would never wear leopard. And now it's like, oh, <laughs> it was everywhere. So, I'm converted. Okay, so I think I'm going to add these. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead because I'm going to end up layering some foils in here too. I'm pretty sure. And they're just too pretty not to. Especially since I've already got the brush strokes on there now. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to kind of layer these. And then I'm probably going to go back in and kind of distress the edges a little bit. If y'all know it. If y'all, if that makes sense. Probably, not. maybe, maybe not. And yeah, you don't, they don't come individually, y'all. If you have not seen the transfers for anybody that's on here that has not seen these, they come, there's three sheets of 13 by 18. So, and then one of them is the camo and leopard. This one is the roses, and there's a lot of roses and the gold accents. We've got the metallic accents on there. And then the third one is like the Western kind of look.
But I'm just being extra careful, y'all, because I don't want you to, like... Uh, I'm hoping that they have that show again. I know. So, they had it this year. Oh, well, I, they had the NRA show this year because um, because uh, some of the guys were up there. And then, I did. obviously, I didn't go. But, um, but they had it. And they said there was a ton of people there. But I don't think there was a lot of... There was a lot of open spots. And I said, well, I'm sure it was like... Um, you know, like the lodge that I was at is that like there has been no hunting for two seasons. So everybody that was supposed to come. And so now it's like those, you know, like especially the Canadian, like everybody's overbooked now that the border's open again. So. Pull a little bit of that off where the, there was like adhesive where I added those foils. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna even say, so I'm gonna go back in and kind of like add stuff around the side to kind of make them all blend in. Uh, sweet, I am so glad that y'all were able to get them. They, sh I mean, you know, I don't think, I, I mean, I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't think they'll sell out, but but y'all, y'all never cease to amaze me so. <laughs> Where do you get your rubble transfers? So these all just came out tonight at southernbellglitter.com and there's a discount code Kelly10. And these are the three sheets, y'all. I know some of y'all are tired of seeing these, but I'm gonna show them for anybody that hasn't seen them. So these are the Dixie Darlings one and they have, there's this sheet. They come in a set of three. This sheet right here, this is the red and leopard. And then this sheet right here, that's like the camo. And, and it has this cool little drip, which I already have a cup wrapped that I'm putting this on too. So they come in the three set, the three sheets. You've been trying to get some of their other ones forever. I know, and she's so she is gonna have some restocks of other stuff too coming too. But just because there were two new sets today that she was afraid that the website was gonna crash. So she's been kind of doing it in stages. Okay, then I'm gonna add this other one right here. I just love these, y'all. Like, I think this is so pretty. And so the foil that's coming this week, the, um, it's like this pattern. So, the gold on the cup, is this foil? Yes, this is. This is the gold roses that Southern Belle Glitters also. Cindy's products are well worth it. I know, they really are. Like, and, and I will say this too, and anybody that has been, dealt with her, just her customer service, I mean, is like, she would do anything for anybody. I'm telling y'all, like, they're just, like, I have become friends with her because I just think she is like, has a heart of gold. Um, and she just always does the right thing, if that makes sense, you know? And Mama Dixie Darlings has adopted her, so now I can't get rid of her. She's in the family, <laughs> undoubtedly now. Hello from Orlando, Florida. Well, hello. Have y'all got nice weather down there today? Um, like we had, it was like 85 here. It was amazing. Her name is Cindy, and she's from Southern Bell Glitter. So, is there a wait list for the deed? There's no more wait list anymore. It is live on the website. So you can go purchase them now. So, everybody that was on the waiting list has been able to order. And, um, thank you. Thank you, Erica. Yeah, southernbellglitter.com. And then, the burnishing tool comes with it. So, they're going to come. I don't have the tube yet, y'all, because they just came. And I've had mine for a little while to play with. But they'll come in a tube like this. And the burnishing tool will come with it. And the discount code is Kelly10, and you can save 10%. And you can add other stuff to your order. Is the website, yes, it is. It is listed in there. So I'm so excited. I feel like we've been talking about these forever, y'all. <laughs> I feel like y'all really fight are sick of me talking about them, but they're so fun and I cannot wait. I really can't. Like, I'm way more excited to see what y'all all come up with than me. I'm 
Try to be really careful so I don't scratch my foils. <laughs> because like some of these little I don't know if y'all can see but like even when I got the carrier sheet out there's like little specks of gold that are like coming through you forgot to use the code you're so excited to get some. I know I think a lot of people did y'all just have to remember to get your 10% next time Um, well, oh, thank you. These are like, oh, I had these on the other night and somebody in my Facebook group said something. I was like, these are like old fossil, uh, fossil earrings, but, um, but I have, I've got this big chunky silver necklace that y'all probably have seen me wear some and it's like actually one of my Dixie Darlings. And so, um, and so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have a pair of earrings that are gonna be similar to this too. These are just old ones I had, and I feel like I wear hoops all the time. So I'm like, let me mix it up a little bit. But yeah, I think these are old fossil. I've had them forever, like forever, ever. Third time you've ordered and you forget every time, <laughs> which always makes me laugh because then you'll say, well, someone's gonna message me said they forgot their discount code. I was like, I have never forgot a discount. I'm always about saving my ten percent. <laughs> You're just laughing at me. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back in. I know this kind of looks crazy, y'all. This is one of those with me that you gotta trust the process. And see, I'm glad you're here, by the way. I saw your message. I meant to say something a minute ago. Okay, so do y'all wanna see how I'm gonna work these all into magic? Or do we wanna like, I'm gonna play with this on this, on these two. And then I am finally gonna put some on this cup, some transfers on this one. And then I've got this camo cup that uh, I ended up doing this uh, Montana marble paint over it that is super freaking cool. It's like a like a marbly effect, the silver. So this was a black spray painted cup. I did the black and white camo foils, and then I did the marble paint over it. So I've got these that I'm going to add onto it too. So thank you, Brent's Crafts. Uh. Yeah, so what do y'all want to see me do? What do y'all want to see me work on? Y'all want me to do more transfers? Y'all want me to play with some foils? And then I also have got this cup that I'm going to add some of these mesh foils to the stripes. Because I've been saying I was going to do it and I haven't done it yet. But I am going to, I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to do thinner stripes. So, like, that's going to be my mid, my thickest stripe. And then I'm going to add thinner ones all the way around. So, I'm kind of going to play with that too. Y'all might want to see me add those foils. Because they're really, they're not hard to do. But... I wanted to get this cup finished because I want to add some stuff to it. So, that's on my radar too. And I have this vinyl pattern that I'm going to add some magenta foils and some color shift stuff around it too. So, y'all have to tell me. Would y'all ever see transfers or foils? I think I probably know the answer to it. but uh, And then I have another template that are in the more uh, foils, please. Okay, you got it. I figured y'all wanted foils. Of course, y'all know I had to show off my transfers a little bit, y'all. Okay. And I am going to add... I may set this one up there because I do want to add some more foils to this. This one, I'm actually going to... Let me see. Okay. I'm going to play with this one first. Let me get my transfers out of the way. You <laughs> see... You, which one, Jamaica? Y'all know I can't put... What is the, the gold? Um, this gold or this gold? <laughs> Should make it the zebra. This is the wood grain. So, that is actually the wood grain foils right there, if you can kind of see. See, it's like the... They're probably around here somewhere I can show you, but yeah, they're the wood grain. You were in a fish fry and finally found a spot in the yard. You're not buffering. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet, dude, on here. I just love y'all, just so y'all know. Uh, so, yeah, that's the wood grain. And then the, the it started out, I, this cup was just spray painted. And then I added the cat scratch template and with the wood grain foils. And then, I honestly, I think that's Firefly. I'm pretty sure that glitter's Firefly. Which, I know, it's all sold out at PDB. <laughs> 
This is the one that I'm going to do, and I want to add some, I think I'm going to start with, I really want to do these now that I've seen these in here. I'm going to alternate these and probably Hey Dolly, y'all, so just like bear with me. I know y'all probably don't want to see me later. I don't know if I'm going to do Hey Dolly or not. Uh, actually, there's another one I think I'm going to use, so. Hold on, let me grab. Yeah, so this one is, um, This is the wood grain. Uh, and uh, Grayson has told everyone here that you make rainbow cups. That's hilarious. <laughs> I do make rainbow cups. I Look, I have a rainbow cup right here. <laughs> I have a rainbow cup right here. <laughs> it, never, it hasn't gone too far because I've been trying to just decide what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so... So, I actually was thinking that I was going to do Hey Dolly, but I kind of like this one, maybe, to go with it. I don't know. I'm going to have to see. I mean, this is like always the go-to, right? I want to kind of like mimic. That's what I'm trying to think. Is like this this one that's right here that rainbow cup that is just spray painted with the opal glitter over it too. Um, that's the only one he cares about. He's usually watching you. With, no, I know he's on there. He's usually like he's my little rainbow guy. Um, the wood grain, yeah, and I think the wood grain is. Um, I think the wood grain. I think she has it on the website. I don't know, y'all. I haven't really dug through the foils lately. But that wood grain is really pretty. And there's so many different things. Like, you didn't have to, you would, you could do so many things with that color palette to make those two golds. So, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe these are the two that I'm going to use on here. I don't know, 100%, but. I wanted to get the new ones just to make sure, but no, definitely not. <laughs> the hell I do like. Has anybody licked the blue cup? Lori, this one right here, nobody's licked this if you're talking about this one, nobody's licked it yet. The wood grain is sold out. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. But stay tuned, y'all, because, so, everything that's out of stock, she's kind of uploaded little bits of it at a time. So, look for, like, stuff to just kind of, you know, like, I try to keep everybody in the, um, I try to keep everybody in the loop in the Facebook group about uh, what's restocking and stuff. But sometimes she just goes on there and uploads stuff. Could you do a pink and a leopard over the top? Yeah, so I have magenta is what I was thinking I was going to do. The, which is this very similar to the color that's on the cup. And I'm going to probably mix in some of this. But then I'm also going to mix in some of this. So these are the three colors that I'm going to do with this, I think, so far right now. I think I'm going to use that rainbow versus this one. Because I like that it's at an angle. Yeah, I don't really go with that cut, but put it over here. Yeah, I like it better than the purple. So, this is kind of my thought process here. That's what I was thinking on this. Hey, Miss Kaylee, how are you? You, okay, so Lori, you've licked the, uh, you've licked the blue, you've licked the turquoise cut. Let me write this down. Y'all know I gotta go to my list, so I'm gonna be forgetting over here. I'll definitely be, <laughs> I'll definitely forget here. Will you send me a message, uh, just so I won't forget to, and I'll have your, uh, contact info in your email, which I may, I don't know, do I have it already? Okay. Uh, we've been working all kinds of stuff, Kaylee. And uh, my Dixie Darlings transfers just went live at 7 o'clock tonight. So, of course, I had to come on here tonight and, like, throw some of them out here and use them. And then, of course, we, w we always end up back to foils. Okay, I'm going to use my little scissors since y'all made fun of me yesterday during Fun Fall Friday. 
and told me that I was butchering my foils. So I was like, okay, today I'm gonna try to neatly cut in my little. <laughs> They're hard to cut, and y'all must not even know this. Any, like these come in big rolls, right? And so they have a rotary cutter that they have to cut every three foot section, and then they have to hand roll it up. Like there's quite an operation there that she's got going on with just a few people processing a lot of orders right now. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do like a little bit of all these. So. And that adhesive worked really good. Uh, is the rainbow cup claim with a handle? No, it's not. I haven't done anything to it yet. But you can claim it if you can. If you'll message me and tell me what you want on it or what you want me to do to it. It's kind of been sitting there because I was. I thought I might put some transfers on it, but you know I gotta put foils on everything, y'all. So see. Okay, send me a message if you'll send me a message. Just so I'll have your email like handy dandy, and then. Um. And then, what if you like want your name on it or whatever? So, um, if you live closer to her, you work for foils and transfers. I know, right? She's threatened to like put me on a plane and may it. Well, she's not even that far from me, y'all. Um, and maybe come up there and roll foils because <laughs> she'll like want to shut the website down. I'm like, no shutting the website down, Missy. Please don't do that. And she's like, I'm gonna put you in a put you. I'm gonna make you come up here and start rolling foils. Uh, rainbow with handle. So. <laughs> So, I work basically for foils and transfers. That's why you can never work at a craft store because you would owe them money. I know, right? We're, I was trying to think about that the other day. Like, it'd be like me working at a clothing store or something. It would be no good for anybody because I would end up. <laughs> it's good now because I don't shop because I don't go anywhere. I just am here all the time. <laughs> My mom was actually looking for something today and she went. She's like, they don't have anything. I'm like, I wouldn't even know where to go shop right now. I shop at the Beachy Collection online. That was the last purchase I made for two little tops. Uh, you used to. You speak truth. <laughs> yeah, if I worked in a clothing store, it'd be really bad. Let's work out something for tomorrow, and I can help you. Oh, Tanette, I didn't even know you were here. Okay. Um, oh, I really just wanted to take off tomorrow because I haven't had like a day to where I haven't done anything. But that's fine because I need to, no, because I won't, no, because the transfers are still live tomorrow and I want them all to sell. I told her I wouldn't sleep until they were, until they were all sold. Uh, but yeah, and I need to get some shirts done and packaged, so that'd be good. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, just let, just call me tomorrow tonight. My discount code is Kelly10. Every time I see your DD shirts, I think that I need to make myself all di uh, all different logo shirts. Wait, what did I do? Um, well, hey, Miss Marissa. <laughs> Thank you for being obsessed with me. Uh, so, I don't think I have any RTS. Like, this one just got claimed right here. Uh, the Rainbow Club I just got claimed. I don't have a lot of stuff hanging around, really. Y'all know that it's like in my... Um, Oh, you're Dixie Darling. Is it not, Erica? Is it not the softest thing? I knew, like, once y'all, like, got those shirts, I'm like, y'all see them and they look cute. But then when y'all got them and you could see how soft they were, I was like, everybody's going to love these shirts. So, I do have more coming because I know that, like, I know I immediately sold out of all the, the extra larges were, like, gone. And I didn't get a lot, I didn't get a, lar a lot of lar extra larges. Do I do customs? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Just because I'm always trying to come on here and show y'all, you know, like I like showing y'all fun stuff. So I like just kind of being able to be like playing around with foils and stuff like that. I used to, but I haven't really done customs in a while now. So, okay, what I was going to say is that most everything gets claimed in the Facebook group. So those those girls, those girls are uh, quick on the draw over there. And I love y'all for it. So please know that. Hey, Creek House Creations, the code. The code is for Southern Belle Glitter. I'm assuming that somebody, that's what they ask about. And it's the transfers. Okay, and today I just text me or whatever, you know. Um, you need some blank ones, all of the brand that you use. I know, I will tell you where to get, just message me, girl. 
like remind me because you know I'll remember I'll say that I'll, I'll send you a message but and they do have minimums but it's not like crazy minimums I mean so so the uh, the Dixie Garland's transfers that I've been using and the foils okay I know I almost want to use that spray but I'm gonna go back to the old faithful over here and this I may have watered this one down a little bit that's what it kind of feels like so this is the Southern Bell adhesive, but uh, Southern Bell glitters, yeah. Hey, Amy, I'm glad you found me tonight, too. Uh, I'm just playing with foils. I mean, y'all probably saw me, y'all saw me do this. Uh, hey, Sheila, just able to log on, and I sure missed something. Uh, missed something, <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> I know. Amy, I guess you couldn't get on here last time or something. Wasn't it, wasn't it kind of fun, or something was funny, like you couldn't, Something was funny. So, hey, okay, one minute. Janie's Perfect Designs. Did I say that right? Y'all know, I can't. You cannot. Yeah, I thought last time you were on here, but it, you couldn't find me or something like that. Which y'all, like, I'm, like, I know how to post TikToks, but if I'm looking for something, I don't do real well with that either. This paintbrush is a little bit bigger than what I want to use. Uh, I have a feeling I know that all my paintbrushes. Okay, this one. Yeah, this is one. You, I think it's your first time on your live. Well, sweet. Well, thank you for being here, Janice. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense once you said that. You ordered your transfers and some foils and forgot the adhesive. She may be sold out of the adhesive. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I haven't looked on there, but I know she's been sold out. She hasn't been able to get it. So, she's actually like, we both have tried a lot of different products trying to come up with alternatives for y'all. Because I promise y'all, we I would I want to have something that's in stock somewhere so I can tell y'all. Because I know it's like an issue. So I try to do this where y'all can see it <laughs> instead of, so it's kind of a little backwards for me, but. So my thought process here is that I'm gonna go in and, yeah, I think this is definitely watered down. So if you water it down, if you're going for a distressed look, y'all, it goes on a little bit smoother and dries a little bit faster. So I think I'm gonna start with I actually think I kind of want to start with the leopard and do the color over it. I don't know. And y'all, you're gonna have to trust the process because this is not. This is gonna look kind of crazy a little bit to start with. This is like the tie dye cup. If y'all could have seen me when I was like first doing that tie dye cup, I was like, oh, I don't know about this with the foils. I was like, this might be a big old mistake. And so the main thing I go back and do is you don't want like any little spots like that are kind of raised up. Um, have your tra no, my transfers have not sold out. Not that I know of. Um, hey, Hermosa Creations, how are you? Uh, sorry, y'all. I get in my zone over here. Uh, so uh, I don't know. They haven't sold out. No. No. City thinks that it'll. They, you know, like, it'll be a little while. I, I don't know. Y'all surprise me all the time, so I don't know. Like, I would say, no way would y'all ever, like, because I know how many there are. <laughs> so, it just depends. And I don't have an inventory thing, like, because her numbers are looking different than mine. It is funny, though. I, so, if y'all haven't really been around me very much, I'm very numbers-driven. And for no other reason than I just have my own mental goals that I set that, you know, like, keep me, like, my... Um, it's like my, you know, it's like my goals that I set. And so I called Cindy this morning. And she's like, I know what you want. And I was like, what? She was like, you want a number? I said, what would make you say that? And she's like, I know you. You want a freaking number? I was like, yes, I do. I was like, how many? Can we all show you? <laughs> well, thank y'all. You're so sweet, Tina. You always are. So, Amy, you think they will? I don't know. I mean, I, th I, I don't, I mean, I, eventually they will sell out. And she's already got more coming, so... It's like the pressure, though. <laughs> it's like the pressure on me. Uh, 
So I can see like a little snapshot, but she like gets the real deal numbers. is to start with yeah I guess I might as well just start with this one y'all look have fun uh, <laughs> yes so all foils are not created equal as all adhesives are not created equal you can see, I just kind of took my, you know, like, I was just kind of going through my brush strokes, so. Um, thank you, Rosanna, for the rose. Thank you, for, thank you, Tina, for saying that, because if I don't see it, I don't know, and then I feel bad that I can't, like, so, uh, that I don't say something, so if y'all, if y'all do, I apologize. If I'm, if I don't ever say thank you, y'all know that I, I just don't see it, so. I know, right? Like, I'm, okay, this is gonna be fun, and then I'm gonna go, okay, I'm gonna do this color all the way around first. Let me just. Let me stay on my let me stay on my track here. So I hope y'all are okay with how I'm doing this. I'm just gonna go in it with the Kelly way. <laughs> so I know, yesterday those fools came just in the nick of time for Fun Fool Friday. I was like, oh, this could be dangerous here today. But, oh, Mr. UPS man, even though you left him in my... How'd y'all like that? We went on a field trip yesterday. If y'all were on my Facebook group, we went on a little field trip. Hello, Miss... Okay, wait a minute. Southern Woo... Wait a minute. Okay, I feel like I can't read this right. Uh... Oh, I'm trying to do lives on TikTok, girl. I'm trying to. It was Saturday nights. I'm getting started. I'm going slow coming on here, you know. You are watching your nine-year-old daughter, Isabella. We, oh, well, thank you. Well, hello, Miss Isabella. Um, the base is a vinyl wrap. It's from the Vinyl Cottage. Yep. Oh, it's Andre. Hello. It's, uh, no. This is a uh, Southern Bell Glitters Adhesive. And it's just a full adhesive. It's one of the many that you can use. Southern Woo, like, and that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, Aunt Andrea. I'm gonna call you Andrea because that's how I say it. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> In the South, that's how we say it, right? Uh, yeah, thank y'all. Sometimes y'all know. Y'all have to tell me. Cause y'all know. I get all, I get all confused. But look. How much better is it though that I can actually see because there's no white mat here? So at least I can see now. This is a great improvement. And I don't know that this vinyl pattern's on there. I, April was on here earlier, so I feel like she probably saw it. But, um,. But she added, if you go in, if you're, if you're looking for stuff in the Vinyl Cottage lately, I meant to say this in the Facebook group yesterday, is that uh, she's added a whole bunch of them because I made a post of like a lot of the vinyl cups I'd done in the Facebook group. And uh, so she went back and added a lot of those patterns. So when you go into patterned vinyl, if you search from newest to oldest, a lot of the patterns that I've been using recently are all right there at the top. So that's kind of another little, um, that's how I say, yeah, yeah. Andrea, I know, right? Thank you. I'm glad that you give me permission to say it like that. I'm trying to get everything I can out of this sheet, y'all, so. No, yeah, so it's not, it's just the Southern Bell, it's full adhesive. So I use this to apply my, um, no, Mod Podge will not work. And y'all, I keep getting asked about Tacket. And I feel like, Julie told me that I should be more adamant to say, no, do not use Tacket. I know there's people that use it and some people have good luck with it. 
it is a sticky mess, I will tell you, because I've had people message me off to the side and say that they used Tacket, and not only did their foils not stick, but then the backside, like this gets sticky. And that's what happens to me with Tacket. So like right now, how I stuck this on there and there's no stickiness on there, when I use Tacket, I don't know what it is. It just does not work for me, number one. And then it's like the Tacket sticks to the carrier sheet or the those, but it doesn't stick to the, like it, it doesn't transfer it. So I do use that and then I use the spray adhesive that I used earlier. And this is just from Hobby Lobby. It's, I think it's Stencil Ease. I also have this linked in my Amazon because I did find it on there for people that are looking. And then this Deco Foil uh, is also on Amazon Transfer Gel Duo. Get the Duo because you can use heat with it if you want to speed it up. Like, I don't like waiting, y'all. <laughs> you know. And stay tuned from Southern Bell Twitter because we've got one that we're testing out right now that uh, works really well, y'all. And it's like a fast dry. <laughs> As if that wasn't fast to dry enough. It wasn't for me, so... <laughs> Um, thank you. These are like old fossil earrings, y'all. I've had these babies forever, and I always wear hoops, so I was like, uh, hey, Miss Tony, how are you? I am good on this Saturday night. Look, it's going good. Dixie Darlings transfers are out there. They're selling. Y'all are liking them. Life is good. I got foils. I got transfers. Everybody's healthy. I mean, I got y'all here hanging out with me on a Saturday night. Uh, thanks for introducing Vinyl College and Summer into my life. They, they get all my money. I know. I know. They get a lot of people's money. I know. I got a lot of husbands that hate me. And, <laughs> and that's okay. I don't even mind it. As long as I don't have one that hates me. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, can you even imagine me trying to date somebody like, that'd be like, what is with all this freaking glitter? And then what is going on in this craziness in your house? This is not even a house anymore. So. I hate to cover that little part up right there, but I'm going to because it was, it's gotta be cohesive, <laughs> right? Sorry y'all. Y'all know I always try to read your questions, but uh, that's also I'm gonna, yes. Uh, your husband is the hey y'all girl, <laughs> no, right? I don't really know why. I, that wasn't like that. That wasn't really intentional, y'all. It was not an intentional thing that I did. You don't have to do this, y'all, if you've never used them. Uh, I just speed it up. So, you can just let it dry, but. Everybody knows me knows I do not have the patience to wait on it. Can you apply transfers directly on the foils, or should you epoxy first? Amy, so I just did right here. Um, I just put them right over the foils. This does not have epoxy over the foils, and I just applied them. I just say, like, I was trying to be really careful. Um... I tried to be really careful not to, so I didn't scratch my foils was the only thing. So, uh, what else did I miss? You're from Rhode Island, all the fast of the South, but, uh, <laughs> well, thank you. Well, you're sweet. I'm glad y'all like my accent, because I, I can't stand to listen to myself talk. The household knows when I'm watching Kelly because of her accent. <laughs> y'all are so sweet, y'all are funny. I don't know, as long as y'all like it, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to listen to myself. <laughs> right. This would go a lot faster if I probably had a, like a solid sheet, but yeah. So Amy, I just put it right over the. I put it right on there. Uh, oh, you love my hot bath. Yeah. So y'all know I've been I've been using this little oven mitt forever just because it keeps my what Cindy in the house. What's up, Cindy Lulu? Southern Bell Glitter's in the house, y'all. Look, Cindy. It was 85 degrees here, so I couldn't put my sweatshirt on, but I am representing the Southern Bell Glitter and the new foils that you'd put on my shirt for me. So, yeah, I started using an oven mitt when I first started, y'all. And so, Cindy, update us. How's it going? How, are we selling? 
Somebody asked if they're sold out. I said no, they're not sold out. That's my that, that's my that's my goal, but <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it really cold in here tomorrow night, and on tomorrow night's live on Facebook, the sweatshirt's going on. I'm gonna be representing on some Sunday night, some Southern Belle glitter. And are y'all having so much fun? Please tell Jen and Tasha and uh, Susanna I said hello. I hope y'all had fun today. It looked like y'all did. Not sold out, but we have sold a lot. Okay. Well, you know, you know when I'm done here, I'll be calling you. <laughs> I'll be texting you or whatever. But I'm glad. I want y'all, like, y'all, she's worked so hard on this. And she worked so freaking hard every day to get, like, new foils and get them here. And <laughs> y'all just don't even know what she went through to get her last shipment released. So, I don't know what this one's called, girlfriend. But I'm, work I'm using this one. And we're layering magenta. And then this is the new one. This is the new one that you, she had on my shirt, y'all. So, we're just doing a little process right here. And we were discussing full adhesives are not all created equally as uh, foils are not always uh, not equal. Cindy is in the house. She's the owner of Southern Belle Glitter. Foils, transfers, glitters, metalsmith paints. Yes. Patina paints, metalsmith, metallic paints. Um, the, um, uh, when I broke out the, what do you call that stuff? Texture paste? Texture pa it's powder, but it's texture paste, I guess, right? So, okay. Uh, I'm going to layer this one next because I'm going to, I'm going to see how this one, I'm going to play with that one a little bit. So, yes, I hope y'all are having fun, girls, on your little vacation. It looked very pretty. It looked like y'all were cold outside, though. I'm like, it's 75 degrees here. Hey there, how are you? So, oh, uh, so good. I know. Y'all, yes, y'all need to go. <laughs> and what y'all don't know yet, if you don't know Cindy, is like, she's the best there is. And she doesn't pay me to say that, y'all. <laughs> she really is. She would do anything for anybody. And she's on a vacation, y'all. And she's been freaking, the code is Kelly 10 at Southern Bell. She's on vacation, y'all. And she released these. Um,. Last night, and she's been working on her vacation because she loves us. So, I love the one on my shirt. The um, These right here. I know, right? So, these are, she has these, but she's going to release them when she gets back from vacation, y'all. So, stay tuned. Uh, Kaylee, what's the adhesive? So, this is, what I'm using, this is the Southern Belle Glitter Foil Adhesive. But there's several options because I think it's sold out on her website right now. Um, I have a, tra uh, a, tra a Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo and then Wicked Shimmer makes a Wicked Stick It. But Cindy actually put that in the foil box. Ooh, and Cindy, don't let me forget. Somebody, remember somebody won that foil box and they messaged me about it today and I was like, ooh, let me remind Cindy. Yeah, that one right there is like super cool. I'm just gonna put it on here so it's gonna look like. You're naming that one. Wait, what did you say? You're naming that one. Uh, eighty six seven five eight six seven five three zero nine. Because why not? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> why not? I know, right? This tumbler is a thirty ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven. I had to think about it because this is the thirty ounce skinny mug with the handle this straight and yeah this is the 20 ounce skinny straight i freaking love these y'all obviously i have a gazillion 20 ounce skinny straight sitting around here right now that are wrapped okay i know i was gonna make a mess with that Ooh, y'all Ooh, this one comes off really good too now you have that song in your head i know right foil boxes will be shipped next wednesday uh, that foil on the shirt. I know, right? Look. Y'all, Cindy sent me this sweet sweatshirt. Wasn't that sweet of her to do that? Um, is, is it called Distressed Foiled? I'm close. Uh, so are you asking about the color or just the way I'm doing it? Or you haven't listed yet, but coming soon. Yeah, so the, I told them these are the new ones. And that when you get back, they're there. You just gotta like get them listed. Okay, y'all, look how cool that looks. Can y'all see? Like layering it in there, see that is what I'm just putting little pieces of it in between. 
I love a color shift. I know y'all already knew that, but I know, isn't it pretty? Yeah, 30 ounce skinny straight. Uh, you just ordered the bundle from Southern Pell Glitter with your code. Sweet, she remembered her code, y'all. <laughs> There's been some people on here tonight, see me this, and they didn't remember. I was like, y'all were just so excited to get the transfers that y'all forgot your code. <laughs> The solid number, like, is there, like, there is a, oh, I see what you're saying, a split. So, I, the, um, I don't know what this, I guess, I don't really know what, I mean, we should just name it right here and now, because I don't really know. I mean, I've got a lot of them like this, because I just like doing the, I like them doing them the center. You know, like, the foils are through the center. I don't know, I've seen people do them from the top down, from the bottom up, I don't know. I don't really know what this is called. It's a vinyl wrap, and I'm just kind of... Mixing in the colors. And I'm gonna do a little bit more here because they're looking a little they're not looking they're not looking very random. I gotta pay attention a little bit here, y'all, what I'm doing. I want them to go up a little bit higher and a little bit lower instead of just being like And if I put a little bit more in there, y'all can probably see these color shift ones. Huh, I'm glad I decided to use those. And y'all know, so I'll try, I try to come on here and tell y'all, it's hard on TikTok for whatever reason. I guess just because I'm in the face in my Facebook group all the time. I always let them know like when stuff restocks or she's got the new colors out or whatever. And Cindy has admin rights to my group. She's the only person that does. <laughs> and I tell her to post in there too, so. Um, the code is, um, the code is Kelly10 for Southern Belle Glitter. Sorry. If, did, is that what you're asking me? Um, yes, Dawn. Thank you very much. I know. If I'm not looking at y'all, I sometimes... Do you seal this after a pop with epoxy? Sorry. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you're a doormat maker. Well, then you just ask all the questions you want to. I'll be glad to answer. It's my signature, and they are beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, I guess it's just a Dixie Darling style. I don't know. Yes, but then I will go over it with epoxy. So... I probably will go over this layer with epoxy, and then I will add like a decal or maybe a, there's some fun, there's some fun little trans. I actually have got a fun little transfer that I wanted to add to it. So let me focus, y'all. I'm not I'm not, I'm not getting a lot done. Sorry if y'all have not been on my lives before. Sometimes this happens. We get a lot of talking done, and I can answer questions, but I don't get a lot of work done sometimes. Which is fine for me sometimes too, y'all know. I like talking to y'all. My lives are the only time I get to talk to anybody, except for Cindy call, like when people call me. Did you see what I said halfway mark? Oh, okay. Thank you. I mean, I guess, like, no, I want it all. We need to be like 75%. You make hands and you're interested in the full transfer thingies. Where do you shop? Shauna, so you'll go to southernbellglitter.com and um, I knew what you meant, girl. <laughs> I knew you were talking about epoxy versus epoxy. Um, you're probably like me, like, I can't type. And, and I don't even know how to type comments in here. So, the code is Kelly10 uh, for you to save 10% on your order. We're trying to get all the codes to Kelly10. I've got to get April at the Vinyl Cottage to convert over to Kelly10, too. We already got Woody, we already got Aaron at Woody's Goodies. She converted over to Kelly10. It was funny, the next day, somebody said, hey, I tried to use your code and it didn't work. And I was like, yeah, because she changed it. Because y'all said y'all weren't going to buy if she didn't change it to Kelly10. So... <laughs> good moderators they're just like johnny on the spot today of like being so helpful to like type in stuff y'all didn't know y'all were gonna get roped into a job tonight on tiktok you can't even you have to like it's almost like you have to have somebody in there typing stuff in cindy i know but you know me Look, I can't be out here, you know, like putting TikToks out here that talks about, uh, that talks about, you know, like dreaming big and going after what you want. And then I don't freaking dream big. Uh, girl, you're giving me a workout. I'm sorry, Tina. I use, um, so I use countercultures. Uh, so I use several different ones. Mainly I use their medium viscosity artist resin from counterculture. But I also use a, I use their fast set. Uh, their fast set doesn't have the same UV properties. So I don't use that. 
with uh, like a white cup or light colored, and then I never use it as my final coat. But I do use Fast Set, and then I use their Artist Resin too. Like they have three different like so the the main the regular Artist Resin is a thicker epoxy. So if I'm trying to lay um, if I'm trying to epoxy like a thicker chunky glitter, I normally will use um, I will use. Uh, the artist resin but then just as far as like 90% of the time I'm using uh, medium viscosity from the counterculture and I've used several different brands I just I like their epoxy it works good but I've never really had any problems in my environment like to be honest ooh y'all this is really pretty I got like some areas that is like I had glue and then I didn't my foils weren't tall enough we need a full sheet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, Cindy, yeah, while you're on here, uh, there is a request for transfer for your nails. They want small transfers that we can put on our nails and full sheets of Highland Cow. <laughs> so, Britt, what, okay, hold on. I, I know I'm missing stuff, y'all. So, when Tina says thank you, I'm just going to say thank you, too, because I miss whatever happens. So, hello from California. Um, yes. Is the bottom of the cup a foil too? This is just the, I haven't done anything to the bottom of the cup. I just wrapped it in vinyl. So I will, um, I will foil the bottom of it. And I'm probably gonna foil it with this right here because I forget, y'all, okay, so look how cool this is. So we did the leopard first and I've gone back over it. I may end up going back and adding a little bit more the leopard. But I've gotta get, it's not going, like, I need it spreading out, y'all. Like, I do want it around the center of the cup, but hey, Miss Ruth. So, I, you know what? I said, were you on the live last night and our, our fun full Friday yesterday? And I said, I'm so happy that you got the rose cup because it's so perfect. And even if you had not asked for it, I was going to have to send it to you anyway. Because I have, like, looked at your little rose for so long now in the Facebook group. And you're always so loyally faithful on there with your little rose. And I was like, Rose has to have the rose cup. So, yeah, I saw Mama DD uh, say that, but, like, yeah, so I do have, and it's in my link tree, too, y'all. So, in my bio, I have a link tree in there, and I think I have every, um, like, all the websites and discount codes are listed in there for y'all. So, yeah, we've added these, and I went back in. This is really fun, y'all. Okay, so I need a little bit. Cindy, you can, you can just bank on that you're going to know that I'm going to need more of this, because this is great. The vinyl is from the Vinyl Cottage. Um, and you're super excited. Well, I'm super excited that you got it, dude. Uh, I was like, Rose has to have the rose cup. So, hey, from Missouri. Uh, sorry, y'all know I can't, I can't stand not reading comments. It just drives me crazy. I don't know why. So, I have to stop. I have to pause. I have to pause myself. Y'all, I don't even think, okay, I was going to add the magenta, but. Huh. I'm afraid it's going to take away. So, I think I want to add. I think I just want to keep adding this. What do y'all vote? I think, like, I want this to, like, come down and up. I want it to be a little more scattered. So, hello, hello, Miranda. Uh, thank you. Yeah, the vinyl's from the Vinyl Cottage. The Vinyl Cottage, and her website is thevinylcottageshop.com. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a little bit more. But I want to, I'm going to have to, I'm probably not going to use this whole sheet, but, um... Hey, from Texas. Uh, your sister's been listening while I watch your videos this weekend, and she loves your spirit. Oh, let's well, tell her I said thank you and hello. You're so sweet that you have your sister, like your sister's there, and, you're, and she, you've got her watching me. I love y'all. Can I just tell y'all? Mom was here today, and Mama Dee Dee's in the house, y'all. And, hey, from North Carolina, to North Carolina. I know y'all are saying, but I ended up reading it. Uh, yes, thank you, Samantha, for joining us. The foils are from Southern Belle Glitter. Love from the U. <laughs> Southern Belle Glitter and the Dixie, uh, the code is um, uh, Kelly 10. <laughs> y'all, I can't even think. So, if y'all, uh, so the Rainbow Foil is not available yet. It, Cindy has it in the house. She's on vacation, and when she gets back, she's going to list it this week. 
So it will be this one. So there's there's a chroma shift and I'm not sure it's there yet. I'm not sure if it's not sold out too, but um, but for those of y'all who don't fall, fall, who are not in the Facebook group, sweet Genevieve that is in our Facebook group. This is how I, this is how they know me is Kelly Tien. <laughs> she even made me a cut with Kelly Tien on it. So are they on a okay, are they on a break right now? Uh, are you asking about Southern Belle Glitter? They are not on a break. She released these two new sets of transfers today, and there was a waiting list. So she was letting everybody get those that were on the waiting list, but now it is open. So you can shop on the website. Just some of the new ones are not listed on there yet. You ordered the foil pack and you love it. I know. Uh, don't you? I mean, like, first of all, she worked so hard, y'all, to get so many different things in that nobody else has. And, like... I met my match as far as like somebody that works hard. I'm not sure she didn't work hard. She worked harder than me in a different way for sure. But so yeah, I'm gonna go back in, and I'm probably gonna go back in with a little bit of that leopard too. I want to add it like a little bit, but I'm just kind of this color is so free. cool, y'all. Yeah, I just need some of it to go more random. It's a little, it's, it's like a little too perfect. <laughs> Is that such thing too perfect? I don't know what my radio station's gotten on y'all. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I was listening to Morgan Wallen and then the next thing I know, it's like diverted and I don't know. It was in Dixie Dixie Chicks and now it's gone off course again. Okay, I'm almost back around to my starting place. Uh Rose, do you always carry a rose? Can you order a shirt? Th these are on the website. They're on DixieDarlings.com. Yes, Cindy is, uh, yes. Yeah, so it was closed until seven o'clock tonight. She reopened it at 7 p.m. So it's open now and you can shop. Um, I know, don't y'all just love Cindy? She's the freaking bomb.com. She is getting a long deserved vacation. So yes, this shirt I have on is on the website. So, hey, Mary Not Poppin'. I like your, I like your name on there. That's cute. I wish I was like creative to come up with stuff like that. I don't have that gift. Barnwood and leopard, my favorite things. I know, right? And turquoise. And a turquoise color. So you don't have to use the heat gun, y'all, if you're not uh, familiar with, if you haven't really used foils. What is that you're using to put the foils on with? This is uh, from Southern Bell Glitter, and Cindy is from Southern Bell Glitter. Sorry, y'all. Um, this is the foil adhesive from Southern Bell. But there's several, like Wicked Shimmer has a Wicked Stick It that works really well, um, because I think she's sold out right now. She has not been able to get it. Okay, so if I do this this way, it's gonna be different, but I want it, it's, my little sections were too short, y'all, and, and my iPad's freaking out over here. Like, literally going crazy. It's like the screens are jumping around. Isn't that crazy? Um, so, it's the... It, something's... Oh, it's touching the mouse. I was like, what is going on here? I swear it's possessed sometimes, y'all. Yeah, see, so I wanted it to go, like, more... Yo, look at, even if I just done it, like, I'm obsessed with this shift. This is so fun. So fun, y'all. Sorry, I know I get a little overexcited about the foils, but I can't help it. They're just so dang fun. What if you put these on the soles of your shoes? Like, I know I did the leopard, but these would be freaking fun, too. Like, a little color shift? I just thought about that. So if y'all didn't see, so this foils is what Cindy made, sent me a shirt from the new foils yesterday. 
and she used them on this shirt right here and I was like oh I need to I need I need to try those out And this, y'all, is why we are on Facebook Lives for five hours sometimes because I'm a slow, uh, I'm, I'm like a slow goer. I gotta go back and keep touching up, keep touching up, and keep touching up. Um, okay, I know I need to go back in and add <laughs> more of that leopard, but dang it, I freaking like these. I kind of like that you can just kind of see through it, you know, like it's there, but you don't like, it's not like the dominant thing. So, thank y'all. Thanks for everybody that's on here and has been like sending your little gifts and stuff. So, I appreciate it. Sorry if I'm not, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to pay attention and, <laughs> and work at the same time, y'all. I can talk and work at the same time, but I can't read. You just have on how are you getting the full to stick? So, I have just, uh, I'm using my little paintbrush to apply the full adhesive. And this is Southern Belle Glitter, but Wicked Stick It has one. Um, this Wicked Shimmer, this Wicked Stick It. There is a Deco Full Duo that works this works well too. This is the same brush on. And then you can also use a spray adhesive. I like using, obviously for this, because I'm trying to make specific kind of little marks. But I also, um, if you guys have seen me do, I did a tie-dye one uh, tutorial. On that one, I put it in like a needle nose. Um, thank you, Tina, for doing that. Um, um, I used like a little needle nose bottle, like they had a little needle nose at the end, and then you can apply it like, direct, you know, like exactly where you want it. So I'm just trying to go through here now, kind of just like extend some of these up or down where it is not going up or down as much as I, like, I needed a little more. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go back, like I was going to go back and add more leopard, but I'm kind of... All right, like I kind of just like where you can kind of just see through it a little bit. Like you can see it's under there instead of just on there, so. Um, Mama Dee Dee's answering that they usually claim during the lives. Yeah, so usually I'm working on this, y'all, during lives in the Facebook group or on here and stuff gets claimed. And I just love y'all so much for it. I really do. Y'all don't know. It just blows my mind. I'm not going to cry tonight, but... But just know that I could, <laughs> and real easy. I might have teared up when Mama Dee Dee was here earlier. And Tina, I think you just have to go in there and do, uh, decline those individually or whatever, because there, uh, Julie said there was maybe a way where you could decline them all at the same time, or like if you could turn it off, but I don't know how to do it. I tried to actually do that in the settings before I did this. One can never have enough leopard. Absolutely, girlfriend, never have enough leopard. I know. I'm gonna go add it back and add a little bit of touches in there. But, okay, so I'll take that. One can never have enough leopard, but one can also not have ever have enough uh, rainbow <laughs> color shift. <laughs> I do love my color shifts too, y'all. I mean, I'm kind of obsessed with this one, but I do love Hello, okay, you know, Hello Dolly's my first love, or not Hello, I keep calling it Hello Dolly, it's Hey Dolly. I'm like, can we rename this to hey Do Hello Dolly because I keep calling it the wrong thing. And just so y'all know, I never throw these pieces away. These babies get used over and over and over again. <laughs> uh, what's up? Diamond Fire Russell is in the house, how are you? I still got your rhyme songs. You know what? We should, we should just, I should just make a plan, girl, that I'm on a bling on here one night. <laughs> so, I will make myself use those, speaking of color shift, those stones I got. I should just, we should just say, I should just say, right here and now, I should say, next Saturday night, I'm going to bling on TikTok. How about that? Would y'all be bored? I feel like y'all be bored out of your mind. <laughs> y'all be like, can you get some foils out or, or something? You've never seen that paper. This is foils. So these are easy release foils from Southern Belle Glitter. And I've got a gazillion different size, colors, shapes, sizes, patterns. Um, I know, right? Okay, so next Saturday night, I'm gonna rhinestone here <laughs> with Diamond Fire rhinestones. 
And y'all are gonna be y'all are gonna be like, we're not going because she's gonna be boring. But they're color shift, so that could be fun. And oh, okay, I just had an idea. Y'all are gonna want to come because it is gonna be fun. Can you put them on anything, Jamie? I don't know that I found anything yet that I can't put them on. As a matter of fact, I keep trying and I haven't. Got to order the Dixie Orleans transfers today. So excited! Oh, I'm so glad you did. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Y'all are just really y'all really make me happy that y'all love them and wanted them. And I, y'all, please, 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 please promise me that y'all will like tag me and I will do it. I will do, I will make a commitment right here that if you tag me, I will do it. Every person that tags me um, on my TikTok uh, that has, uses the transfers. Because I want to see, I want to see them all. You need to learn to, yes. So I put them on the, so this is actually heat transfer adhesive that Cindy at Southern Bell Glitter, she made me this shirt. And you just put, uh, this is the foil that I'm using right here. Is this is what this is? So, um, this is oh wait, obviously I've had it on the cup, but she, you just use the heat transfer adhesive and she cut it out with her Cricut and then applied it to the cup and then you apply the foils over it. And gosh, y'all, what all have I put it on? I mean, I've put it on blue jeans with the spray adhesive. Um, I've put it on the rubber of my shoes. Uh, I did the have y'all seen the shoes. Um, and I just took my little Cricut mini press and heated it right on there. Uh, I mean, I fold signs. Uh, I probably would, if Cindy comes down here, this, y'all might see this wall back here foiled because I got an, and there's going to be, I'm going to have foils on the table for sure. You got yours too. You're ordering at in and out restaurant. I'm so glad. Well, thank you. You're so sweet. Kiki Designs 12. Thank you very much. Y'all are so sweet. The heat transfer adhesive, she also has it at um, Southern Bell Glitter. I guess. I don't think she sold out. I mean, I think you can probably get it. But that's where I got mine from. And, um, y'all, I don't know what is going on. My iPad is literally going cray-cray. It's, like, locked up. I don't know. Something's... I think maybe those foils are on it. And it's gotta... What did you use on the shoes? I've been eyeballing my chest. Okay, hold on. Let me... I'm gonna have to turn that off, y'all. Because it's, like, spazzing out on me. Um, y'all are so sweet. Uh, okay. So, let me show you the shoes. I used, um, the, a leopard. So, I just took my mini, my Cricut, uh, little mini press. And I literally just took, like, it's not these, but I just took them and laid them on there. And I just ran the press. Obviously, if you leave it on there too long, it's going to, uh, it'll, it'll melt the sole. So, don't leave it on there too long. You gotta go fast. But it didn't take very long. And so people kept asking me, the big question was, which I knew it was, anytime, anytime I do think anything over here on the TikTok, uh, I always get asked a bunch of questions about how does it wash, how does it wear, which is totally fine. I totally understand that. I'm making a mess, y'all. If y'all haven't watched me before, I'm not, I don't like, no, no messy, I don't like, I'm not a messy crafter. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the mess. So, uh, yeah, no adhesive. I literally just took my little heat, mini heat press and put them right on here. I know, right, Jesse? Like, no freaking heat. And then so people are like, well, how does it wear? Y'all, I have tried to, like, scrape this off. It does not come. It's, like, burned into the rubber. Like, you can see. Like, it does not. It is not coming off at all. So, I mean, eventually, maybe if you wore them for a while. But, like, I just got these little shoes at Target. And because I was like, I just want to try it. And, um... So the heat transfer vinyl, I was gonna, I'm actually gonna, I was gonna try to do the logo on the top of them with the heat transfer adhesive and then do foils on there too. So I get my foils from Southern Bell Glitter and the code is Kelly10 to save 10% on your order. But yeah, all my foils come from Southern Bell. I don't know what is going on here. It's like having a moment. My iPad, now I can't get it open y'all. This is all this crazy. I think it's the keyboard. This I'm making it act crazy. Sorry, y'all. So the heat transfer adhesive and the foil on top. Yes. So that's what she. And I'll hold on a second, y'all. I got it right here. So it looks like this, and you would cut it just like you do your regular, um, you know, like regular heat transfer vinyl. Okay. So they will also stick to screen prints. So if you have a shirt, like okay, so this right here, I don't know if this is. I don't know if this one is. But if you just have regular heat transfer vinyl on a shirt, just regular, and you want to add a foil, it will stick to this. So, like, if I had this shirt and I've had it, because I've done a lot of these, y'all. <laughs> um, if I had a shirt and I've had it for 
a year. Like there's some in there I've done, I've had for a year. I didn't like the color of the vinyl. So I put foils on it and the foil sticks to it. Now the foil doesn't melt. So but this is the, so you would cut this just like you would your heat transfer vinyl uh, and then weed it out. And then you apply that to your shirt and then you lay the foils on top of it and then you press that. And now they have to be cold peeled. So let it cool off before you peel it off. Do not try to pull it off hot or it won't work. That's the only other thing about that is make sure that you um, make sure that you let it cool off before you peel the foils. So not that you can use the heat transfer adhesive and pull it off and then go ahead and directly apply your foils and heat them. But, um, and I do have a YouTube about it, y'all, because I can't remember. I, I, honestly, somebody asked me the other day, and I was like, I don't know how I gotta go back and look. Like, I think I did it 380 for 40 seconds. <laughs> and then I just let it cool off before I, I let it cool off before I pull the foils off. Because if you do try to pull them off, they will, they will, they will, it will not work. But if you have a screen print on a shirt, foils will stick to that. And I don't know, y'all, people ask me this all the time, um, why it doesn't stick to the rest of the shirt? I don't know. There's some chemical reaction that's going on between the screen print and the foils. That the foils will only stick to the screen print. You can do it on heat transfer vinyl that you've had. Like, I have shirts that I didn't like the color of the vinyl. And I put foils on them and covered them up. And it works. And it sticks. And it washes. I always turn mine inside out and wash. Um, wash. And then when I dry mine, I just dry mine on low heat. So, um, sorry. We got off on a little tangent about foils and all you can put them on, y'all. And I mean, you like, there's some, you can put them on acrylic blanks, y'all. Um, uh, but I think I did it. Okay, so I will say, so I have a tutorial, I have several different tutorials on my YouTube channel where I did it on heat transfer vinyl, I did it on screen print, and I did it on uh, the heat transfer adhesive. So I've done, I think all three of those are on there. So you probably should actually call, girl, don't even, little Jesse, you got so much going on, girlfriend. You don't have to call me. We're, you're good. I'll be here blinging next Saturday night. I'm like, if I don't say it here, it won't happen. Uh, so, I mean, like, I even had this little wind side, y'all. So, I just applied the adhesive and then put foils on it. I mean, there's just so much. You, like, I literally, y'all, y'all think I'm joking. I haven't found anything I can't do with the foils yet. Really. I haven't. I was trying to find, um... Yeah, so, even these, like, little, like, acrylic blanks. I put foils on the acrylic blanks and then put a little layer of epoxy over it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and that was just a thing I got at Target, y'all. You know, like those little $1, $3, $5 bins at Target when you walk in the door. Uh, that's where, first of all, everybody asked me how I store my foils. I, these little bins right here came from Target. <laughs> they were like $3. It's all so about every one of them that they had because they're perfect. Yeah, this just came, was in the same little bin. And I just, it was, you know, obviously it was just like this. And so, I just added the foils to it. And then all the little acrylic blanks and stuff, you can add your adhesive and it'll stick to that as well. Um, like, this is one of the rainbow ones that I did. That you can see. So, I just added the foil to the back. I glittered one side, added the foil to the other side. Um... I mean, literally, y'all. The options are endless as to what you can do with these foils. I'm still, I mean, every day I'm like, what can I foil? <laughs> so, what's up, Amanda? Well, we're working, look, we're, you know how it is. We're working on something, but I get, we get diverted. <laughs> so, I was talking about the shoes, and then, but I'm actually foiling this cut. This is one of the new ones. So, Cindy sent me this shirt from Southern Belle Glitter, and it had the adhesive. She cut out her little... Uh, this isn't her logo, but her, you know, business. And then she put the new foils over it. What's the difference between screen print and HTV? So, screen print is actually like a transfer where the ink is printed on a sheet and that transfers. Heat transfer vinyl is more like, hold on, I'm, I have both here. I can give you, I can show you. Hmm, I say that. Be sure I have I'm pretty sure I have a screen print somewhere here. I thought I had foils on these acrylic blanks too, but I, on those notebooks, but I don't. So 
So this would be a screen print transfer that is already printed on a sheet of paper, and then you're gonna apply this to the cup. I mean, to the, not to the cup, to the shirt. So I don't know if you can see, it's almost like a raised texture a little bit. Um, hey, hey from Australia. How are you? We've had some people in here from Australia. The full holders are $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Sweet. Thank you. I'm always, everybody's always asking how you store them. So I'm always looking for different options. And then your heat transfer bottle is actually just going to come in, we often see, it's going to come in sheets like this. And then you can run it through your Cricut machine and you're going to cut it out. So it's more of a vinyl that you're just ironing on. Where this is actually going to transfer like the ink to the uh, shirt which is different than a screen print when you're actually doing it with ink. This is like the ink's printed on a sheet of paper and it's gonna transfer it to the shirt or whatever it is you're pressing it on, if that makes sense. So, and then your vinyl is just a, like your heat transfer vinyl is a vinyl. So, but like this right, and this right here is actually like my, is this is um, cut out of the adhesive heat transfer adhesive, right? So the clear stuff I just showed y'all, that's what I cut this out using the adhesive right there. So you just press that on the shirt and then it would create like an adhesive on the top and you press your foils on it and the foils would go over it. So can y'all tell what I've been doing? <laughs> so when you put the foil on top of dried HTV, like that shirt behind you. So this is actually the adhesive, but like this is, so this right here on my shirt is heat transfer vinyl. If I went and put my shirt on the heat press right now and laid foils over it and pressed them, it, the foils would stick to only my logo. It wouldn't stick to the whole thing. Does that help? So, it, yeah, it only sticks, it will stick to heat transfer and it'll stick to screen print. So, like, if you put this screen print on a shirt and you press it, open your heat press, lay foils on top of it, the foils will only stick to this. So, it's like wh where this is and where the vinyl is. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to be, you know. Um, but yes, so it'll stick to basically almost anything. It will not stick to sublimation. People have asked me that. So sublimation, obviously y'all know is different than it's actually transferring the inks to the in, like the fabric is taking in the inks. So there's nothing raised for your foils to transfer to. So that's the only thing that it will not stick for. So that you, the place the files you stick on has to be heated for you. Well, so, well, no. So if I went, so like if I just took this shirt off right now, and I went and put it on my heat press. I don't have to heat it. I put the foils right over it and then heat it. So yes, the foils have to be heated, but you don't have to heat it first, if that's if that's what you're asking me. So so yeah, you don't have to heat it first. You can just put them right on there. I mean, obviously they would have been heated like you know months ago, but but they don't have to be reheated before you apply the foils to them. If that, if, if that helps, I'm sorry. Did I, did I totally veer off course or? That the foil would stick to the other part of I know, but it won't because I've done a lot of them. Uh, unless there's something, some kind of adhesive or sticky on there, it will not stick. I'm trying to think if I have anything handy. Uh, that was supposed to say, did you, wait a minute. The place that, uh, wait a minute, what did I miss? I'm sorry. That was supposed to say, did you do? Because I don't see your other comment. What did I miss? Tina, are you like, I missed the... Because I don't see your previous comment. Uh, does it, yeah, it does really, yeah, it does fine in the... Um, had the full stick to the cup. So I'm using, I've got the adhesive, sorry. We got, we digress y'all to shirts. We will come back around. No, I was just trying to think if I had anything handy where I could, oh, you know what, right here. So this was actually cut out with the adhesive. So I applied the adhesive to the shirt and then I applied the foils over it. So those, these foils right here are, these right here. So I just laid them on top of them and they only stick to where you press them down. It doesn't stick to the rest of the shirt. So, thank you, Bethany, for my little flower. That's the first, like, I haven't been missing this, y'all. I haven't been able to watch very good tonight. I've been, I actually was trying to, so, um, okay, so this is just a vinyl wrap, a full vinyl wrap, 
and then I'm applying the foils right now. <laughs> I got distracted, y'all, from shirts. So, yes, thank you. So, I just turn it inside out to wash it and dry it on low heat, and it totally washes fine. Um, and there were people that want to test this, because I did the Dixie Darling, like, I have a whole lot, you know, like, I did a whole bunch of these. So, there's shirts and sweatshirts where I applied the, did the foils to them. Okay, back over here. Let me get back to my cup over here that we were working on. Sorry, y'all. I get, you know, you know, you get to be talking about, dang. Yes, so this is Southern Belle Glitter's Foil Adhesive. And there's several different options. I have them all linked in my Amazon's favorite things list. Or Wicked Shimmer has a Wicked Stick It this good as well. Okay, I'm going to go back and touch a few more little spots, y'all. Then I promise I'm going to leave it alone. I know it keeps just getting farther and farther down. And then I'm going to want to go back and add some leopard. Um, well, thank you for watching yesterday's tutorial. Uh, well, thank you, Bethany. I'm so glad you did. I know it's Saturday night. I mean, y'all are with me yesterday for Fun Full Friday. And y'all will be back with me tomorrow night. So, I don't expect y'all to... Y'all are too sweet to get on here. Um, well, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bethany. Look. Oh, look. The little heart. I love those, those little things make me laugh. Those are fun. Thank you, Bethany. You're so sweet. Um, and, okay, wait a minute. I can't, it's hard for me to see. I like I've moved it. Violet Heart Studio. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for watching my tutorials and being patient. I'm trying to be, I've finally gotten a little bit more consistent for y'all. So, I'm trying to do uh, every Wednesday and Friday is my goal here. So, it may be kind of a repeat, but just a different design because I'm like, I don't know how many times y'all want to watch me bottle wrap a cup or put foils on a cup, but I'll keep doing it. So. I don't know. She even told me there was a way, too, that I could go in here and, like, change some of my settings, because I was like, she saw, when we went live, and she and I both here, she was like, there's a lot of stuff on your screen. I was like, I know there's a lot of stuff on my screen. I was like, is there a way we can minimize that? Because it's hard, sometimes it's hard to read comments when there's a lot of stuff going on on there. So, sorry if you answered this already, but what mascara do you use, Kayla? Uh, I haven't answered that tonight. Actually, I use a Mac, the Mac Stack. So, I've been on here talking about it, and there's a mixed review about it. Some people like it, some people do not, because I told my Facebook group about it, and so a lot, well, that night, I'm like, if I'd had a discount code that night for Mac, holy smokes. But it comes in as, and so there's the Mac, yes, thank you. Tina knows, she's, <laughs> she's heard me talk about this Mac stack. It's two, so it comes with like two, a three, set of three. I bought, of course, I got roped right in because I walked into the Mac store. And she's like, oh, well, if you buy all three, you get a discount, you know, or you get the, you get the primer for free. So there's like a primer that I put on there first. And then um, it has, it's a, it's a separate, I've never seen that, that has a one brush for your uppers and upper lashes and one brush for your lower lashes but somebody said well mine don't look like yours i was like i know i do have long eyelashes already but the max stack i've used a lot of mascaras my mom wasn't a big fan of it she said she's getting used to it now but but i do i love it and it was i knew so i kept seeing people on tiktok talk about it and then when i went to look at it it was sold out and i was like okay this stuff must really be legit and so, uh, they were sold out of it online, I think. And so, they has them at the store in Birmingham. So, I, I had to be going up there. And I went by there. And I was like, oh, yes, I'm going to need the Mac stack. <laughs> and she's like, yep, she knew. I was like, I know I'm not the first person in here today asking for the Mac stack. But it's buildable, which I like about it. Right? So, um, well, yes. Well, thank you for being on here tonight, Top Shelf Creations. I appreciate y'all being here. Hang with me tonight. I got all excited talking about shirts and stuff. And y'all can always message me. It's hard, for some reason, I have a hard time seeing the uh, the messages and in, on 
TikTok. I don't know why. I think they get lost in like that. I think I need to figure out a way where I can go in there and like take out some of those. Like, you know how when you're like, you, somebody follows you or whatever, it's like say hey to you. And I'm like, my messages gonna get lost in that. Okay, so I'm probably gonna go back and add a little bit leopard print. Like there's a little bit, like, like I like a little bit more right here. Probably it's a little, um, it's a little not enough right now. You have a lot of little stupid, they're blonde. I'll have to look at it. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. So, I don't know. Somebody was talking about it on here one night, and I was like, well, do they look bad? Like, do they look like there's too much on there? Now, because mine are long, I will get mascara on my eyes because they're long sometimes. But, you know, so thank you for my, about my sweatshirt. You can't message unless we're friends on TikTok. Oh, well, then we should just be friends on TikTok. Um, this, yeah, so I actually have the, I sell these shirts on my website now. Because everybody liked them so much. And I love it. You know, like, who doesn't love... First of all, I would wear sweatshirts year-round. And then when you can... Um, you know, when you can... I want to have a short sleeve on even better. Okay, so... <laughs> I swear to y'all, this is the last time I'm going to put this on here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put some leopard right there. Okay, I'm going to go back in and do just a little bit of leopard here and there. That I feel like it was... I feel like it's heavy in some places, and there's just like this, yeah, just kind of this little area right here. It's probably gonna be too much, but I'll try, I'll try it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so this is the bottle wrap, and I put a layer of epoxy over it, and then I'm adding some foils on it. That's all I've done to it. Adhesive to dry, so I'm just trying to speed up the process a little bit. About use this one. <laughs> About use this one. I can already see I'm going to want to go back and, hey, Miss Bill's Creative Crafts, uh, and April, sorry, some of y'all, uh, I was missing your comments. I'm, uh, just playing over here in my full world. <laughs> and I'm just letting Miss Tina handle it all, and she's just running the show for me. Yeah, thanks for hopping on here with me tonight, y'all. It's been fun. Of course it was going to be fun. I was excited. I was, it was already an exciting day for the Dixie Girl transfers coming out. I was all excited about that. And then I get to play with y'all. Because y'all know I'm usually sitting here by myself all the time. Talking to myself. And Cindy's on vacation, so she's not calling me. So, it's been really quiet this weekend. And my best friend has gone to the beach. I'm like, dang it, everybody left me here this weekend. So, I wouldn't have anybody talk to if y'all weren't here. <laughs> well, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all gotta tell me if, okay, so I'll have to tell y'all like I tell my Facebook group too. Like, what do y'all wanna see me do? I told Jesse we were gonna do some diamond fire rhinestones because I was like, if I don't commit to doing some rhinestoning, I won't do it because I keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. 
I mean, like, I mean, I do, of course I want to do that, of course, but I get, I get sidetracked with these foils. Well, hello in France. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm just over here working on my cup. So if you're just about to have alternated the, there's a new rainbow that's coming to Southern Belle Glare this week. That is this right here. That's what it looks like before I have like used a lot of it. And then I'm using another, um, this is actually one that she's had. That is just a gold, kind of like a burnished. Ooh, and look at that. I'm almost out of it. So, that worked out pretty good. And no, they do not come on these big rolls, y'all. But she gets, like, the ends. Like, you know, that there's not enough when she's shipping those out. Uh, you know, like, she cuts her three-foot sections. So, a lot of times she'll send me the, end, the ends. Because she knows I'm like, I'll take whatever you'll send me. Uh, because you're crafting and it's like we're crafting. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, too. Uh, you just ordered a huge order from Southern Belle Glitter, and I was wanting the, a Dixie Darlings V-neck. So, it is on the Dixie Darlings. Uh, there isn't any on the site. No, they're on my site. They're on mine. They're on the DixieDarlings.com website. Oh, there's not any V-necks left. I've ordered them, y'all. I've restocked. If there's not any on my website, um... Okay, I think I'm fairly happy with the way it is right now. There's one little place I want to go back in and add a little bit of rainbow, and then I think I'm going to call it good. And we'll move on to work on I know y'all are probably tired of me working on the same cut, but sometimes it just takes me a little while, y'all. Especially when I get sidetracked talking about shirts and foils and stuff. And I like when you keep adding it. Like, see how this, like, I don't know how well y'all are be able to see it, but, like, I like how, like, little pieces will come down, too, and kind of get stuck on there. I think that's fun. Um, back in August. Okay, so I guess they weren't then. I have I have to go. I've got them coming, so I haven't even looked at the inventory. You, I do not sell the foils. Um, they are on Southern Bell Glitter. I just use the foils. <laughs> I am the foil user. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that I'm going to go with this. And then I'm probably going to go in and use a layer of epoxy next. Just because, I don't know, there's some transfers I do want to use, but... I may end up layering something also behind it, um, just so it shows up a little bit better. And I was going to add the magenta to y'all, but... And so, if you had not, if you just jumped on and did not hear uh, me say that the Dixie Darlings transfers, she did open up the website on Southern Belle Glitter tonight, and the Dixie Darlings transfers are available. There still are some left because she sent me a message a few minutes ago, and she was on here earlier. And then, um, uh, and then we have a custom Dixie Darlings foil that's coming into Southern Belle Glitter that will be here this week. So look for it to be listed online as well. Um, okay, so the transfer, my rebel transfer. So, yeah, I think maybe, I was going to do the magenta, but I don't know. So, I kind of had this one in mind that I thought I was going to add on here, but. So, I may do a little bit of something on the background just so, because those words are not going to, these may get lost. So, I might do like a lighter color or something under there. Thank you. These are like, y'all, this is so funny. They, so, I wear these hoops all the time, and I'm like, I know y'all, like, I like literally I have a gold pair and a silver pair, and I wear them every day. And so, one day I was like, you know what, let me break out something else. And these are like fossil earrings that I've had. I swear y'all, I've probably had them. I mean, I want to say like 15 years. <laughs> so, it's funny. So, I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're fossil. <laughs> they may still make them. I don't know. But yeah, so that was maybe this, tr maybe, I don't know. Uh, I was going to somehow work this in. I had this one on my agenda. <laughs> and then, but then there's also like several, I don't know. 
Uh, I want to put the hey y'all on something. Uh, I want to put the hey y'all on something too. So, and then uh, there are these hearts also. I'm not 100% sure. I really like the hearts. I keep getting drawn. I think we need a whole sheet of those hearts too. What do y'all think? Yeah, like see how fun this little heart right here would be? Like these two little hearts, I think, would be would be fun to work in on here too. So, how do we order through you? Um, so, do you mean the transfers or the foils or, I'm sorry. Um, I may have missed what you said earlier. Sometimes, y'all, sometimes, TikTok's hard for me. Uh, these sheets are, they just opened up at 7 o'clock tonight. They're the Dixie Darlings transfers and they're at southernbellglitter.com. And there's, you get all three sheets. So, it is, they come as a set and they will come in a big tube. So it's like the red and the leopard and the kind of more Western look. And we got the hay y'alls in there. And then this is like the camo and leopard mix with the gold and they've, they've got the metallic accents in them. So these are the only ones that have that. And the little metallic accent flowers and stuff. So super fun. But yeah, it's a set of three, three sheets and they will come in like a tube like this. And then you also get the burnishing stick. So, they just opened up to go for sale tonight, 7 o'clock, after the waiting list. People got theirs. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking maybe one of those little hearts that I might end up working in. I'll probably put a quote on here. And it will be really fun to do a quote in that Rainbow Mist vinyl that's kind of the multicolor that almost looks like, it almost looks like this. It's a vinyl that looks like this. So they show up now green are for sure the third page, but now they look more gray. Um, the transfers, they, they're green. It's um, for sure green. Um, like I, this is one of them on a cup. And I just put foils in the background, but this is one of them over the holographic vinyl. So now some of them, oh, there's a couple of them that are gray. Like this, these right here are gray. Are more of a gray that are on the transfers but they yeah but the other ones are definitely like here's the sheet of them you can see they're green if that's better lighting or whatever and then y'all see me do the cups yeah well, i don't know if y'all might y'all might not have seen me do the cups but this is another one of them right here the perfectly imperfect and you can see it still shows up over a dark background which i really like and then these are the roses that I added in with some foils on here. Yes, you can use the, uh, if so, how. You can, add, so I would say that you, I don't, I have not used them. And I almost took them today, yesterday when I got my nails done to see if she would do them. But um, I'm sure you could apply them with like, you can just apply them with the adhesive. And then if you're going to put a top coat on your nails, like with the UV resin or not, you wouldn't use, I guess you could use UV resin. Whatever uh, gel you would use, you would just paint over it. But I would assume that you could just put your adhesive on the nail and then do the do the foil and it would stick. Now, it's, obviously it's not gonna stay on there unless you cover it with something. But like if you do it with a clear coat, I bet, I'm sure it would stay. Because so like, you know, a lot of these foils have, can also be, like they, you see them as like nail foils. So it's the same exact thing, like if you're looking for nail foils that they do use on nails, it's the same thing. Cindy just has them in big sheets at Southern Bell. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do the bottom of this. While we're here, I might as well. Um, so, um, no, you cannot attach the, my podge will not work. Um, and you, the next question you might ask me is tack it. There are people that use Tacket and say it works, but I do not have luck with it. I cannot get Tacket to work for me. It's a big old mess. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, no, yes, Tina, thank you. No, I don't take custom orders anymore. I just, I have worked on so many cups in the Facebook group that I am trying to use different vinyls and foils and all that stuff. So, usually I've got, like right now, I probably have 40 cups sitting right here that I'm working on and they get claimed. And, the, and if, if you're interested in one, if you've seen me working on one, definitely shoot me a message. But, um, but uh, I'm usually working on stuff like I am right now in the Facebook group, like two or three days a week. And so, uh, usually stuff gets claimed right then. 
as I'm working on it. So, and I'm very grateful. I love very. Um, so I use Southern Belle glitter has a full adhesive. So I use this. I also have a spray that I got from Hobby Lobby that is just like a stencil ease spray that just sprays on. There's a 3M that will work as well. Um, and then I've got several of them linked in my Amazon's favorite things list also. So, and this is just watered down a little bit just so it goes on thinner and dries a little bit quicker. And I just use a paintbrush to apply it. And then this cup has a vinyl wrap on it. That's all I did. I just vinyl wrapped it and laid the foils over. Kind of added the foils in. And just a random pattern. And then I don't like to wait, so I speed it up with my heat gun. This one has been claimed, Mary. I'm sorry. Um, somebody claimed it on here earlier tonight. Yes, I do epoxy over it when, I, when it's done. And you can see like that was kind of the same of the, so I kind of went off of those colors. And then I'm going to do a little bit of this one, and I'm going to do a little bit of the cheetah on it, too, on the bottom, for it to be a little more distressed on the bottom as well. It starts getting later in here, y'all. I can't see. I can't see very well. You're gonna try to find the tacket. Uh, you're having problems. You can't get it on Amazon. So I will. Yeah. So I would. Okay. So I had kind of not said very much about tacket because I just don't ever like to talk bad about a product. But when Julie was here with me, she said, "No, you gotta tell people that, that they are not gonna get the results you're getting if they use tacket." Like, she's like, you need to be more adamant about it. So, I've kind of been a little bit more aggressive by saying that you can use Tacket, and there are people that say it works. I have not had luck at all with it. It creates, like, a big sticky mess. So, it sticks to this versus actually transferring the foils to this, and then this gets sticky, and you can't do anything with it. And the more you try to apply, it just keeps getting stickier and stickier. So... Uh, yes, I'm still here, girl. You know, like, is what is my minimum is going to be? Like, it's two and a half hours. Oh, we're only two and a half hours in now, so. Um, they're easy release foils from Southern Belle Glitter. And this does have a layer of epoxy on it. So, I applied the vinyl. I did a layer of epoxy. And then I'm going in with the foils right now. So, thank you for the rose. Um, okay. Tina's got a handful over there. So, yeah, I've just applied this to the bottom. I'm going to go back in and do a little bit. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of the cheetah on the bottom, too. I mean, it looks fine like that, but I've, just because I want to bring it around from the bottom for the cheetah. Just because I want to be extra like that. <laughs> uh, where am I from? I am from Alabama. I know, I kind of hate to mess that up, but I'm going to kind of just make the, I'm going to add this little leopard to, or cheetah, whatever it is. I can't remember what's leopard or cheetah, y'all. It, it confuses me. So, it's all leopard to me. <laughs> Until Cindy says she's naming something cheetah, and then I have to remember that there's like, what was the blue that I used oh, on that uh, Highland Cow Cup? I was like, oh, that's blue cheetah. I got to remember this cheetah.
And then, like I say, I'm just trying to add it, like, if you can see, like, where those little pieces come down. Bad my hair as well. Uh, you so, or just my neighbor. Yep, I'm right here in the middle of Alabama. Georgia here. I know, we always have good, I mean, like, a lot of Southerners here. I say between, like, Texas and Florida, Georgia, like, it's always, like, a good mix of, like, people here from the South. And if you haven't, like, really good painted, I've been talking about taking Dixie Darlings on the road. Like, would that not be so fun, y'all? Like, I don't, totally want to go on the road. And, like, every week, where does Dixie Darlings go live from? I'm somewhere different every time. Jersey girl here. My girl, Lisa Stella, she's from Jersey. Uh, Maine. I've been I spent some time in Maine. Kentucky. So, that's where Southern Belle Gooder, uh, Cindy, is in Kentucky. South Carolina. You're from your Instagram. Well, thank you for hopping over here. South Dakota. Um, first I, I well, thank you. I don't, I am working. I'm just adding some, I'm applying some foils. Come to Rhode Island. I, look, I'll go anywhere. I've said, like, every week I'd go somewhere different. Like, every week we go to a different state. But we were talking about where, like, the concentrated areas. And, like, obviously, y'all, like, like, I get analytics of, like, where all your followers, you know, like, you get analytics. Everybody does. Of, like, where all your followers are from. And I'm like, it's always, like, Texas, Florida, for whatever reason. Those are always, I mean, obviously, I know Texas is a big state. So, I'm sure that probably has something to do with it, too. But, Arkansas, Iowa, uh, Indiana. Y'all are from all over. First of all, it kind of, does it not just blow y'all's mind a little bit that there's so many people on TikTok? I mean, like, so, I mean, like, you just think, like, we're in our little, you know, like, I feel like I'm in my little crafting world, and there's so many people. It's like, imagine just in general. West Virginia, San Diego, uh, Diamond Play Creations, Alabama. There, there's a lot of crackers from Texas. Yes, there always is. Then you need to do a world tour. Girl, I will totally come to Australia. Look, don't tempt me. I don't know that I've ever said no. Well, you know what? I was actually talking to my dad about this one day that I wish that there was one place that I had gone and uh, I didn't. And um, But normally, I'm not one to say no pretty much to anything. Uh, from Calif uh, California? I know there's always a couple of people from Australia and in the Facebook group too. Minnesota. Uh, definitely come to East Texas. I know. I love, first of all, I love Texas. I mean, today it's this little south, too, right? And there is. A lot of my Facebook group, there's a good bit from Texas in there. And so, I'd always kind of, I'd always thought, I, I've always thought that I wanted to go, like, you know, like Dixie Darlings goes on the road. But then we had Culture Con, and, um... And I got to meet so many people that it's all, they're always in my Facebook group or on, you know, like live. I was like, oh, now this really makes me want to go, like, travel around and meet people face to face. It's so much more fun. Uh, wow, we have so many states. I know, right? Isn't that right, Katina? So, uh, well, a Texas stuck in Kansas. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything is going on there. Um, yeah, sorry, it is going on there. And I just put like a little bit. So I was, I didn't want the whole thing to be covered. I just wanted it to be like little accents of it, if that makes sense. And then like around on the side, I just kind of wanted this to, like I don't, I just want little pieces of it where it more just blends it in. And I like using not a full sheet because then you don't, like I don't want solid coverage, right? Like I didn't want it, like if I was to put a full sheet, like a new sheet on here, but because I'm using where I've already kind of used this, then it goes on a little more, you know, like a little more distressed, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see, it's like it goes on a little more distressed. And then just like little areas like this, like I put adhesive and just where the rim of the cup and the end of the vinyl, like it just kind of makes it blend in. If y'all can like, and see, I want it more distressed. I don't want it to look like, you know, you know what I'm saying. I don't want it to look like a block. Like I just stuck a side of foils on there or whatever. So, I like reusing the little edges, like what's left over for that. Because it just seems to kind of blend it in a little bit better. If that makes sense. So, just, I know it's hard to see on the video too, right? Um... You haven't tried foils, you're slacking. You are so slacking, girl. And we friends. I can't believe you hadn't dang uh, tried the foils yet. 
I mean, if you're like me though, look, y'all, there's so many things that I have here that I want to try and then it's like, there's just not enough hours in the day. <laughs> like, I got a cup over there. I want to finish patina and then like add another layer of patina paints on it and I ain't got to it yet. It's still sitting over there. Uh, your soon as your order get here, doing a full. Okay, and y'all gonna tag me. I wanna, y'all want y'all tagging me. Cause I love to see what everybody does with them. Cause I was having, I was on, I was doing a little interview thing with some on another group the other night. I was the interviewee. And they were just talking about, we were talking about inspiration and where inspiration comes from and stuff. And uh, I was like, and y'all, I never look at other, I was like, I do look at other Tumblr makers, but it's like, if I'm trying to draw inspiration, I don't ever look at other Tumblr. I look at all kinds of other stuff. And so, but I do like seeing y'all's creations though. Like, just cause I know how I draw inspiration and where my mind comes from, which is out there a lot of times. But, but I like seeing and just thinking like, hmm, I wonder how they came up with that. Okay, so I'm painting on this as the Southern Belle Glitter Foil Adhesive. And there's lots of different options you can use. You did your first foil this week. Sweet. Stepping in to do it. Yes, please definitely tag me. Um, will you seal that again before I... No, I won't seal it before I do epoxy. I don't... So, there's been... Some people have messaged me and Cindy at Southern Belle about foils repelling. But I think there was another issue going on. So, I don't ever seal mine before I... Uh, add a layer of epoxy. I just go right into my layer of epoxy. Yeah, so it's just the Southern Belle glitter. It's a full adhesive, and there's lots of different kinds that you, uh, yeah, you have to use an adhesive. There's a, you can use spray adhesive. There's, there's several, there's lots of options. There's just a couple of places, y'all, that were looking a little bare. That I needed to just kind of touch up. But yeah, you have to use the adhesive. Or you have to use an adhesive. So you can see, like, if I use the Distress, can y'all see that? How it just kind of, like, mask where the end of the vinyl is, but it's not like a straight line. You still have to try to fix it from epoxy repelling, but I think it's because of the adhesive I use. I was going to say, some people have been adhesive, and then also, um... Also, um, the adhesive, it depends on the epoxy. And then a lot of people write, so like if you rub, because I'm bad about this too. Like if you have oils on your hands, because you do, I, I find myself, even myself, touching the cut more when you're putting foils on it. And uh, so I think sometimes it could be like oils on your hands and stuff too. And then if you put the adhesive on there and you don't cover it with foils and there's some exposed adhesive, I've said, I've, Cindy and I've talked about it. Of like maybe that could create, you know, because we've tried to do some troubleshooting and stuff. Because obviously, like we get asked a lot of questions about. I mean, and I want to be able to help y'all and tell y'all. I was like, I've just not had it repel the epoxy yet. But I know that there are people that have had stuff happen. So I'm just gonna go try to go through and like, if I feel like there's adhesive, then just put the foil over it. So, you can probably see it like right here, where it's just kind of, you know, like it's just a little distress that's going on there. So, can you use Tacket? Okay, so, yeah, it's not my favorite. Um, I tried not to talk bad about it, <laughs> and, and then I was told that, yes, yeah, so you can see the bottom. I just added like a little, dis I added like a little distress leopard in there, just to kind of break it up a little bit, and then make it blend with this, the front. Um, so, I don't, yeah, I don't like Tacket. It turns into a big freaking sticky mess to me. That's all I know to tell y'all. <laughs> Is that I've tried it. I've tried it several different times. I've tried it with several different uh, foils to see. It just, like, so where you see me pressing this on there and pulling it off, and then my sheets, like, transfer it over. When I use Tacket, it's like the Tacket doesn't stick to the cup, and it doesn't transfer the foils. It just sticks to my foil sheet. And then the more you start sticking it, the messier it gets, and it's just a big old freaking mess. So... Uh, <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> so I really wanted Tacket to, I wanted Tacket to work, honestly, y'all, because so many people have it, right? So, like, I don't want y'all to not have an adhesive. I want y'all to have an adhesive so you can try the foils and love them. 
So, but I, I mean, people have gotten, if you're going for a distressed look, it, I think you probably could get it to work. But if you're going for like a fairly solid coverage, because like, now I use the cat scratch sheets or the, um, now I use the cat scratch sheets or I use, like the, we were just playing with all the new foils last night. So I just cut them into strips and put them on here so we could see how they transferred. That stuff, the double-sided adhesive tape, whether you use cat scratch, tumbler tape, whatever you want to use, that is like so solid, legit, like full transfer to that. This is like a new rose gold holographic that's coming out at Southern Belle this week that she's got coming. There's an autism one that's coming. We, so we kind of played around with these last night. Um, so, well, thank you, Kaylee. I know I'm kind of a, y'all, this vinyl has sat here on this cup for a long time. Like I, I have a lot of vinyl patterns that I just kind of hold on to until I know what I want to do with it. And then when I saw that, when she said, she sent me this sweatshirt and I was like, Ooh, I know what I want to put on that cup. Mm -hmm. Except I was going to put a magenta in with it. And then I decided I didn't want to. So I know the rose gold is gorgeous. So we, the, somebody was having problems with Koi Cheetah. So I was like, I want to see if it's going to stick to the tumbler tape. It did. Um, this is a camo that's super cool. It's almost like a matte. Can you see it's got the green? This one we got a little issue with and we're still trying to figure it out. And so it's a really cool distressed leopard, but it didn't go very well. This one is like a new holographic leopard. All these are new that will be available next week. They're not out yet, y'all. The autism's coming this week. The rose gold. Um, this little stars right here, I think it's a new one. The disco, I think is already available on the website. Like, I love that one. Look how cool that is. Like the little disco colors changing. This one is already available. I don't know the name of it, y'all. The white is coming this week. So it's a solid white that I think would be great to put behind, like you could distress it and put it behind a decal. You know, like if your decal's not gonna show up a little bit, you could do it more distressed. Like how I did, if y'all saw the cow cup I did, where I kind of just did it in random things. Um, I know the cow, I know the cow hide's coming this week too. The Dixie Darlings one that's gonna look like the red, um, you know, like the red distressed stuff. It's going to look like this. My foil, the Dixie Darlings foil is coming this week and it's going to look like this. And the cowhide and then Susanna's leopard is too. So, it's your bedtime. I know. Girl, it's, it's going to be my bedtime soon, soon too. Tonight. I didn't sleep much last night. I was all wound up about these Dixie Darling transfers last night. I didn't sleep very much. So, and then, th so this is a new one right here that's coming this week too, which I'm kind of obsessed with this one. It's like crazy cool. This is a holographic leopard. I ended up adding it, putting it in two different places. And then I added it over this Opal Dreams that's actually sold out right now. I just want to see what it looked like over it. This is going to kind of change colors. This is super freaking cool too. And you can see I put like, this is a, a different leopard that's coming out this week. So, uh, hey Mindy, what are you doing girlfriend? Uh, now I have a signal you need to check the way. Yes, yeah, so they are available on the website right now, the Dixie Dollars transfers, and they're not sold out because she messaged me a little while ago. I'm so glad you joined me over here, Mindy. So, Tina, yes, go to bed. I know. It's like, you've stayed up way. I did not mean for you to have to work the whole time you were here either. Bless your heart. I owe you big time, girlfriend, for answering all the questions and taking care of everybody tonight. You're hanging at your parents and saw that you were live. Well, I've been live for, let's see. So, Cindy launched the, opened up her website for the transfers at 7 o'clock and I went live. So, we kind of just been playing with like, we added some foils to this cup. And that's super freaking cute. A new foil that she's got in coming. So, yeah. Thank you, Tina. You're the best. I appreciate it. I don't know how to type in anything. So, I'll just have to answer people's questions now. Because <laughs> I don't know how to type it in. I know, isn't that cool? So she sent me this shirt and she put it on the shirt and I was like, oh, I need to use those. So, what else did we do? Oh, I added, where's my, oh. And then we added some of the transfers on here. I just gotta blend them in a little bit with some other colors. So, y'all, Minderella's in the house. I really feel special now. <laughs> So yeah, I guess I'm just chatting now because I don't. I, well, ha, I'll have to answer questions because I don't know how to type them in there. I'm like a TikTok live doofus. But I was showing them. I added a bunch of the, like I just took a random cup and <laughs> I love you, girlfriend. Uh, you know I do. Uh, I just added them on. I took that ta that tumbler tape and just we were playing with them all yesterday. Everybody wanted to see what the new ones look like. So oh you yeah, okay. Okay, I didn't know who was left on here. And I was like, I didn't want Tina to feel like she had to stay. I know, it's like past midnight. 
where did I get my earrings? Girl, so I have had these earrings for, that's what I said earlier, probably 15 years. They're, they're fossil, I think. Like, I've had them a long time. And I always, oh, you're still there. Well, Tina, don't, you do not have to stay. Because I won't stay. Y'all, I better obsessed with that on the bottom. Look how fun that is. I just, sorry, I wanted to set it down and I wasn't going to look at it. So, I honestly have no idea where they came from. But they, they did have these cute little rhinestones on them. I can't believe they've lasted this long. <laughs> but I always wear hoops and so I was like, you know what? I probably need to break this up a little bit. And wear something other than just the hoops I wear all the time. So. Uh, anyway, I guess that's going to be about it tonight, y'all. You love that sweatshirt with those full layers? I, yeah, you do. Because she just sent it to me right before she left. It came yesterday in my box with my fools. I was like, ow! Oh! I was like, if it wasn't 85 degrees, I'd be wearing it tonight. But tomorrow night, I'm going to turn the air down, way down in here. And then Facebook, uh, tomorrow night at Facebook Live, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to have it on. I was just like, I'll have to turn it down. You love the patina tumbler. The patina tumbler. This one right here. How do you use the foil? Um, you need to try your rides on steel. Sorry, y'all. Y'all are coming in here. Y'all are coming in hot tonight, right here all of a sudden. I know it was 80, literally it was 85 degrees here today, y'all. It was amazing. Like I sat outside for a few minutes. I was like, I need some sun. <laughs> um, okay, so the foils, I just have an adhesive, and on this one, I just applied the adhesive and brush strokes with my um, paintbrush, and he, I ran my um, uh, whatever this is, the heat gun on it to heat it up really quick and make it dry. You'd be on the floor melting. Well, it's not 85 in my house, but it's still 85 outside. Um, it was great. I freaking love it, y'all. It, it, I love it when it gets 95. That's my that's my prime temperature. Otherwise, I'm like in here freezing usually and got a sweatshirt on. Um, so that's how I put them to this. These are on cat scratch sheets, like or um, double sided adhesive sheets. Sorry, y'all. I know we're probably not supposed to call them that, but uh, yeah, in that this one's coming too. I Minnie, mean, did you see that this is like the rose gold that's coming? She's got it coming this week. It's like holographic rose gold. It's super freaking cool. And then there's an autism one that she's got coming this week. You love the heat too. Yes. The hotter, the freaking better for me. I'm all about it. Uh, and this cool little freaking camo that's like looks matte. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to play with that and wrap a cup in it. Um, because I'm always walking around here in a sweatshirt. And the only reason I don't have a sweatshirt on when I'm live a lot of times is because all these lights get so freaking hot in here. I've turned the air down so I don't die. Because, um, supposedly these lights don't put out much heat, but they put out a whole lot of freaking heat when I'm sitting over here on this side of it. So, anyway. Uh, and so whoever asked about the foils, I'm sorry I didn't like. It's, the questions were going really fast right then. Um, is that, uh... I have a I have a bunch of tutorials on them too, like on my YouTube channel. Just FYI, if you like, if you wanted more in depth stuff, and then on my Facebook group. Well, okay, so we were doing it every week, y'all, and we scale back. And then I was out of town, so I, I, what do y'all? I think we should do Fun Fall Friday like every other. Um, I say like every other Friday, maybe not just once a month, but we'll do it every other Friday until I just I don't know. I feel like y'all are just sick of seeing me live though all the time. I'm like, my Facebook group, y'all gotta be like, what's she gonna do now? Because I'm over here going, what am I gonna work on next? I'm like, how many times y'all want me to see a wrap in a bottle cup? You love my earrings. Thank you. These have been popular tonight. I had no idea that y'all would love these earrings. They're old fossil earrings that I've had forever. I don't even know where they came from. Trisha, well, I love y'all too. I've tried not to, I've tried not to talk about it too much because I was gonna be emotional tonight because y'all know. Y'all know. You're back. Full Friday. I'm back. Full Friday. Yeah, so in the Facebook group, we were doing fun full Fridays. So I go live every Sunday night and Wednesday night in my Facebook group at 7. And then we were doing fun full Fridays at 3 o'clock on Friday afternoons. And y'all are so funny. Y'all went for each break felt way too long. I, mean, I was like, y'all, I was only gone a couple of days. I just love y'all. Y'all know I do, too. It makes, it makes me want to tear up forever. <laughs> it makes me want to tear up. Uh, that y'all want to see me sit here at my table and work on stuff. It just kind of blows me away sometimes, y'all. Uh, and I'm not gonna cry. But, um, <laughs> you're new here. Well, thanks for joining us. We've kind of been working on stuff, and now I'm just kind of chit-chatting. Um, but so, yeah, so we were doing it every Friday, and then, y'all, it was a lot. First of all, it was a lot for me to come up with ideas for y'all. I was like, I mean... Like, y'all are going to get bored watching me all the time. So, I was like, let me scale this back to where we do Fun Full Friday. Um, like, 
once a month, but I think maybe every other week. If y'all just have to, y'all, like, y'all message me and tell me what y'all want to see me do. That is, that is the biggest help because I can work on all kinds of stuff, but then if it's not helpful to y'all, like, I want to, I want it to be helpful to y'all. You don't have crafty friends except these groups. I love it. I know, right? Like, I don't have anybody that comes, well, Julie is coming over here crafting with me. And then, like, the vinyl cottage is right here in town, but I'm usually just sitting here by myself all the time working on stuff. Like, a lot of hours of the day, I sit right here at this table by myself. And some days, some weeks, I hardly, I don't even leave my house, but I go to the grocery store. And I take my dogs out several times a day. That's my outdoor uh, fun for the day. So, anyway, but yeah, y'all, <laughs> y'all, uh, like, shoot me messages or stuff of something y'all would like to see me do. Um, Heidi and Estella had done a tissue paper cup at CultureCon, and uh, Julie Pierce sent me a message, oh, and she was working on one, and she's like, hey, that might be something fun to work on, and I was like, yeah, and I totally, like, Holly did it, but I would do it on here just to, like, see how you go about doing it and kind of learn as the process goes, so that might be something that if y'all would want to do. Y'all know I'm going to be working on these. Y'all know I'm going to be doing all these Dixie Darlings transfers for a long time, though. Can you show how show us how you did the base for your rides on Tumblr? Yes, I can do that because I use Miss Lillian's neon jewels for that actually. And obviously at CultureCon, I was using the um, pop of color paints because we were there. But I actually on mine personally that I used, um, and I guess it's probably I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's oh uh, sorry, um, it's actually sitting like right there. No, that's the one Lisa did for me with vinyl. It's sitting right there. That one I did with the Miss Lillian's um, jewels, the embellishing waxes. So we could totally do that one day. Uh, I'm gonna write that down as a matter of fact. <laughs> and then I've asked, people have asked me, I don't think that y'all wanna, you watch someone do a cardstock row today. Yeah, like I think it would be, um, I mean, I just, and I told Julie that. I was like, I think it would be fun to do a, you know, like a tissue paper, like, I don't know, y'all probably, have, some of y'all may have done it or whatever, but um, what is my website address for, like, for my, so I just, Dixie Darling is, is my, we have a, face, my Facebook group is where I go live all the time, but then my website where I sell my shirts is DixieDarlings.com. Where do I get my transparent rhinestones? My transparent rhinestones come from Diamond Fire Rhinestones. And Jessie was on here earlier, so that's why I said next Saturday night I'll rhinestone. I'll use her color shift because I've got I ordered a whole bunch of color shift rhinestones and I haven't used them. I did the trans. I got my transparent ones from her and I did that th that cup right there, but then I didn't do my other ones. So um, base for rhinestone, and I might have enough that I don't know if I have extra rhinestones here or not, but. And so, uh, this one actually glows under the black light. Those embellishing wax and neon jewels from Miss Lillian's glow in the, uh, in, in the, in the dark, under the light, I mean. You're so jealous of my Lisa cup. I know, look, that, that's my, no, the, okay, so that's not the original one. My opal one is the original Lisa cup. Then she rhinestoned that one right there over vinyl. And then she did this one for me that I just got, and I'm obsessed with it. Girl, no. And I messaged her yesterday about the shirts. Just say it when we can get. Um, oh, Jesse was sold out of their transparent ones. Um, I don't, uh, Tina, let me think about this. Uh, PDB just announced today that they had transparent stones, by the way. PDB Creative Studio. I'm pretty sure I saw a post by them today that they had transparent stones on there. So you might want to check with them, Tina. Because I was like, I just saw somebody say this today. What, do you want to see the... Um, do you want this cup is from Lisa Stella Designs? My girl Lisa Dempsey is the freaking bomb. So I did not have one with the scatter method, so she did this one. Are you wanting to see this one or my culture con one? So this is the one that I was teaching at culture con, but it kind of got sidetracked. And this one is the one I did with the neon jewels. From Miss Lillian's that glow. They're embellishing waxes. You actually just rub them on with your finger. And then, if you're look, this is the one that's over vinyl. Um, just by transparent stones. They're just like literally transparent. Like almost anybody you can find them. Um, 
I, no, I feel like everybody's pretty much carrying trans, like transparent rhinestones now. So yeah, this one's done over, like I put the CultureCon, it's a vinyl sticker on there, and it's over, I just brush these on with my finger, these embellishing waxes. And then this one is uh, just a sheet of vinyl that Lisa, Lisa did this one. I did this one for CultureCon. Lisa did this one for me. This one and this one, and then I guess my other one's probably in there being washed. Um, but I know this one's crazy, right? At CultureCon, Lisa done a cup for Julie Pierce, and I walked in and I was like, I have never freaking seen a bougie cup like that. And I, so I called Lisa, I was like, I don't know what kind of bougie stuff you pulled on that, but I'm gonna need one. <laughs> I know. So this is just vinyl, and then she, these are just clear, transparent. These are transparent stones that Lisa put over the vinyl pattern. She actually just did another one. I don't know if she's posted it or not, but she sent me a picture of it that is like this and the white version. So it's like a white leopard almost. It's super freaking cool. You've not done a whole cup. Mad props to anyone that has does the whole cup. I know, right? Like Lisa's done a ton of them. What do you mean you brush them on? So, you're talking about under here. So, they come in little jars, and it's like a paint, but it's called an embellishing wax. And so, you literally just scoop it out, and you kind of just brush it on the cup with like, I do it with a gloved finger. I just kind of brush them on there. So, that's just painted underneath here. But instead of just like painting with a paintbrush, they're just a little bit harder ma to manipulate because there are these little waxes and jars. And so, like I prepped the cup, and then I just took them, and I kind of... You just do it. I'm trying to think. Did I do a tutorial? I don't know how to do it on this cup, but I've used them before. I'm not sure if I've done a tutorial on any of the embellishing waxes like that. I used them in a tray, but I don't know if I've actually done a cup. So, that would be something good because a lot of people ask me about those. So, I'm going to make a note of that too because I think y'all would, would enjoy something like that, right? Something different. And there's like embellishing jewels. There's the neon jewels. And then there's other embellishing waxes also that have Woody's goodies in them. So they're like shimmery um, that you also can like layer over stuff. So the embellishment wax is under the stones. Yes. So the, I just like the, I prep the cup and then I use the embellishing waxes. And then the stones are just on top of the paint. Um, these are SS20s. And these are SS20s, both. And these are the same cut, right? These are both 20-ounce skinnies from Craft Haven, Skinny Straights. So, I know that they're SS20. And I want to say that it took a bag and a half, I think, to do the cup of SS20s. You'll let her see it live. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I can't get that. Uh, so, April, you mean like the embellishing waxes to blend? You have to get, so those are, that's why I like doing them with a gloved finger because you have to, they, you gotta work with them a little bit. And sometimes you gotta do more than one coat too. You know, but they do kinda, of, I like them because you can kinda of work with them to like move them up and down. So they kinda, of, like I find it fun to kinda of manipulate them around. I don't know, I know that sounds probably weird, but. But I know, it's so funny because I use, I do the, um, I do the patina and the metal smith paints and stuff all the time. And I just forget, I mean, I don't forget about the embellishing waxes, but I just never think about doing anything live with them, with the neon jewels. So, I can totally do that. I made myself a note. Um, no, you don't epoxy after the stones. So, that is, uh, it would make them where they wouldn't be shiny. It would always make them kind of like hazy if you epoxied over it. Did you do a tutorial on the, the embellished jewels? I don't, I, that's what I'm not sure about. Like, I've done them, but I don't know that I have a tutorial on them. I know we've worked on them in the Facebook group. Um, yes, the embellishing wax, you have them all. Okay, we'll do, I'll do it. So, um, let me just grab a couple so y'all can even see what we're talking about. Okay, if y'all just hold on just a second. They're over here on the shelf, and I'll grab, grab them so y'all can see. So they work really good too. And I'm trying to think. I have a cup, but I don't know right where it is here. But um, 
They, the metal smith paints is the next thing you tried for stones. Yes, I freaking love that. Y'all know I'm obsessed with the metal smith paints for sure. Um, so they come in little jars like this. So this is what I would have used. And you see, they're like a, they're like a wax. And so like literally, I uh, just take my glove finger and then you just wipe them on the cup like you would a paintbrush, like a paint, but they're just a little bit thicker consistency. So th there's like the Neon Magic Jewels and they have UV reflective, you know, like under the black light they glow. So this is what they look like. And these are all, I get all these from Southern Bell Glitter, but they're Miss Lillian's. Grace is still awake and asking if he can come to your house to see your cups. Oh, he's so sweet. He can come to my house anytime he wants to to see my cups. And so neon, then the, there's a white titanium. This sucker glows like crazy under the dark, under the light, I mean. And then she also has a line of shimmer jewels. So all of these have Woody's Goodies Micas in them, just so y'all know too. But it's the same thing. These are good, like over patinaed cups or anything that you've painted really. You can brush these on there and they create a shimmer. I've got a cup here somewhere that has them on there that I can show y'all. I don't know if I'm to be able to put my hand right on it right in this right quick, but it's somewhere in here. Hold on. Okay, so I was actually just using this to put a transfer on here one night, so y'all don't judge that. But, um, so this is actually like a cup that I patinaed, and then you can see where I've gone in with the, shimmer, the, the shimmers on top of it. So I've just brushed them on, like the blues, the purples. Um, but they, you can see they all have Woody's goodies in them. So they have that like really pretty shimmer that you can put over stuff that I think is like really fun. That's a full, but I put it, I put the shimmers in there too. So like this is one of the Lucky Penny ones. Um, do I? Uh, do I ever go to the vinyl cottage? Yes, I do. <laughs> all the time uh the this moonbeam is one of my real is one of my favorites and probably because uh woody's goodies santa's beard and some of those colors are my favorite too so i know it's probably hard it's hard to show y'all with these lights in here but it has this really pretty shimmer so that one you can see like that would be moonbeam that i put right there so it just has this really pretty shimmer it's uh, I said Southern Bell. I said Southern Bell. So they did come from Southern Bell Glitter. These are Miss Lillian's, but they come from Southern Bell, but they have Woody's goodies in them. <laughs> if that makes sense. Or did I say something else wrong? There's probably, I probably did. Uh, this is Maleficent. There's all, there's blues and all different colors and purples. And I just kind of grabbed some of them. There's a pot of gold. So fun, fun, fun stuff to play with. Uh, then eight, their actual, um, wait a minute, what did I miss? Then are there actual stones on, like on that, uh, on this, so I, yeah, I put stones over where I painted it. Is that, if that's what you're asking, I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all get lost sometimes in the comments <laughs> and I'm like on to the next thing Then I have to like regroup and I'm like, wait a minute, what did I miss? So, um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know, y'all, sorry about that. So, anyway, uh, I will do a live on this uh, with, with these. So, stones on the stuff. Uh, no, there's no stones in here. The jewels, no, they're just, they're just like, hold on a second. I'll show y'all. <laughs> and then I'm going to get off of here and, uh, but w I will, uh, I will plan on doing this. I may do, we may do this in the Facebook. Well, I don't know about tomorrow night. But so you can kind of see they're just like, you just, they just come off like this. So you can just, like this got these, the other, the neons provide a little bit better coverage, but this is really pretty if you want to put it over something, just to add like a little bit of shimmer to stuff. It's kind of cool. Uh, I guess I could do it like on this, cause this cup's gonna be like a, it's gonna get. Oh, yeah, I did have this. Yeah, I did have rhinestones on those cups up there. Sorry, I already put them up. So, you can kind of see. Y'all see how that is? That's on just a black spray-painted cup. So, 
it just adds like this really pretty little fun shimmer that you could do. Um, are those what you did on the culture? Con yes, Kaylee. Yes, these are what I used on on my the one I did. Yes, <laughs> because I'd already done it, and I thought that we were actually going to have those there, and then we ended up not, and we were doing pop up color paints. But yeah, they they do blend really nice. Um. I mean, this cup's kind of like, but you can see like, so they just come off like this. Like you just kind of scoop them out and you just brush them on. So obviously over black, it's going to be kind of hard to do, but, um, but, but you can work them together. So they're, gonna, they're just kind of fun, but you can see they're, they like on a white cup, you can tell they're going to be vibrant on there. Um, didn't know about that way. Yes. So I love these waxes. Yes. They're very super pigmented. Obviously it's on a black, but cut but yeah they work really like and that one that I did at culture like that one that's up there on the shelf that I did it on my culture con cup it um like it take you know like I did a couple of coats on it but you can see like the same thing like they're just like they just and then you can start blending them together and they work really you know like they just work they're just fun. They're just different and they're fun. <laughs> so now you need to, Kaylee, now you gotta go get you some embellishing waxes. Cause yeah, I love them. And that white, that titanium is crazy. This one right here, this titanium under the black light, it glows so freaking good. I mean, obviously you're not gonna be able to see it on here, but. But hold on a second. I know what y'all can do. I gotta, well, there's gonna be so many lights on here. It's probably not gonna work, but you might be able to see this. You might be able to see the titanium one. Oh, I think that light's hooked into this, so it might, it might turn off one of my lights real quick, but <laughs> you need to do some shot. Yeah, girl, you need to. Do First of all, I want all things Miss Lillian's from Southern Belle. Cindy's sent me like, yeah, if y'all know, I had to bring in another bookcase down here to put on my shelves. See that? Can y'all see this glowing? And there's a lot of freaking lights in here, but that is like so freaking fun. See, like they glow under the blue light. Isn't that fun? Y'all don't want some of these. And then they also have a, she also has a paint too. So they also come in paints. The neon colors are also now in paints. So they're the embellishing waxes and now there's uh, neon chalk paints as well. And there's neon patinas now too. The metalsmith patinas are also. Uh, so, yeah, I know it's kind of hard to see these, but but you can see it there. Y'all can see it glowing in the thing right there. So, um, so from Southern Belle glitter, they are Miss Lillian's metals, uh, Miss Lillian's uh, shimmer jewels. Uh, but I get all mine from uh, Southern Belle glitter. Uh, so yeah, they're they're really fun. So where's my cup? Well, you can see them glowing right here. Yeah. So now y'all can see it. <laughs> so so fun. So fun. So fun. I don't know. My wallet it gets affected by Southern Bell glitter too. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, we'll do that. I'll play with one of those. I'll play with those. I probably well, I'll see. We might do it tomorrow night. So you put stones over those. Yes, I just put those on the cup, and I did not do any kind of. Uh, Mama's still in the house. Tina, you're still in the house. Is my, my mom? Is my, surely my mom's not still in there? Um. So, yeah, maybe we'll do these, I don't know, like, if I'm going to rhinestone, I probably won't rhinestone a whole cup, but, um, but we can work on these. So, maybe, like, the next Saturday night we'll do these, and then, or maybe we might do it in the Facebook group. I don't know. We'll, like, get something together, so. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get off here, y'all. If y'all, oh, my, there's my little Dee Dee. She still is in the house. Um... So yeah, y'all, we'll we'll play with these neon. We'll do this. I, I don't know if I'll run some over, but we'll play with the the neon jewels for sure one night, and then even maybe some of the shimmer stuff. We'll I'll layer it over a cup. I'll try to get a cup prepped 
or whatever for one night and we'll layer some of these on here too so anyway thank y'all for hanging out and thanks tina for being like a superstar moderator tonight for me and managing everything i didn't see any mean comments tonight maybe you got rid of them i just didn't see them <laughs> I was like, everybody was on their good behavior tonight. <laughs> so, anyway, but yeah, these, and there's tons of colors. These aren't just, like, I just grabbed a couple, y'all, while I was, like, on the shelf over there. So, anyway, I will see y'all next time. If you have any questions, message me or, like, message the Facebook group. It's probably the best way to, like, get uh, get my attention. Like I said, sometimes these messages get lost <laughs> in, in TikTok for some reason. So, Thank y'all for hanging on here. And if y'all don't have the Dixie Rollins transfers of Southern Belle Glitter, go get them before they're all gone. So, and thank y'all for those of y'all who have shopped. Y'all know that I love y'all very, very much and I'm appreciative. So, anyway, I will see y'all next time. <laughs>